Hail travelers. Uh, oh, greetings. Hello. You're my dungeon master. Hello. 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 Hi. Are you ready for another fun-filled episode of The Shattered Crowns? No. Okay, everybody well, pack it up. It. Let's, let's all right. See you later. Here That's it, everyone. All right, so let's pick right back up where we left off. Uh, our heroes had just made their way down into the sunken fortress that had just risen up from the sands. After, uh, rather, they are here specifically to scout out the area on behalf of one of the nobles of Mirage. Whilst on their escapade, one of our heroes, Big Tree, uh, decided to fiddle with a large, ominous-looking skull, and after a few amazing heroic rolls, instead of melting into a pile of uh, disappointing juice, instead enlisted the might of the necromantic energies hidden within the skull, and instead has been empowered. Never punished. All right. <laughs> Drop this down. <laughs> oh, man. He and got, I never will be. He got to pass. He got to go to go. He got to collect two hundred dollars. Got it a jail the, free card for now. And the book in Scrumpo's diaper disappeared. That's true. <laughs> Wait, do, oh, yeah. do arcane tricksters have a book or a spell book? I th oh, let me check. I think so. Because I think if that's it, the case, then it does, did it, it, it did just not got, disappear. It just got it's smaller. Only smaller. Yeah, it got smaller. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pamphlet, an arcane pamphlet. I have absorbed the book. It appears that you don't, though. It seems that okay. you cast like a sorcerer. That's fine. Wait, so I don't memorize spells? I just got a fucking sorcerer's pool? Is that what you're telling me? Or not like a pool, but like I can cast yeah, as and many? You, uh... okay. well, well, you don't get to cast as many as you want. You have a limited yeah, yeah, number yeah. of spells that you know. Yeah. But... yeah. yeah. Let me, let me yeah. Go double check, though. <clears throat> just to make sure. Uh... Spell. Doesn't... Yeah. I thought I memorized... I, I wrote down which spells I had memorized anyway. Yeah, I, I have that in front of me. It's just you get cantrips, um, charm person. Uh, no, it's like a sorcerer. Huh. I didn't prepare chat moon to him. I actually did prepare this time. Yeah, he did. did. No more know? cleric spells on my wizard. Yep. And he wasn't late. And, I'm not, and I was definitely not late. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't talk into his VR headset. Dude. <laughs> I was watching the Super Bowl, man. On the VR headset? No. <laughs> oh, that would be intense. Like it's like I'm there. All right. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let's pick right back up where we left off. Big Tree, you just had an encounter with the necromantic kind. You were able to survive and not totally be murder killed by it. Have some ambience. Let's go. What do you do? Okay. I'm gonna click on this ambience first. Wait, where's this ambience at? It's in our chat. Oh, Discord. There. Dick Got cord it. or dick cord. I can also put that here. Dick cord. Dip tick cord. <laughs> so the swirling mist has just gone away, and I am now empowered. That is correct. By this. The necromantic energies has inf have infused themselves within your very arcane being. <clears throat> the essence of mana that flows through your body has now been, well, one might say corrupted, others might say changed for the better. But in either case, your experience has not left you the same. <gasps> wow, that was amazing. Oh, you, you feeling all right there, big tree? You don't look the same. Uh, I feel amazing. Describe exactly how you feel. Yeah, You're more attractive like a, now. Like one, one or two sentences. <laughs> I, I'll go ahead and cast like false life on myself. Empower myself. <laughs> Look at this! I'd like try and like create oh. the power in my hand. Just oh, and empower myself with it. Black <laughs> mana is summoned into the hand of Big Tree. That's you see, what? his skin turn ashen and black, and harden with an outer shell. How do I? How do I actually add temporary health? Oh, uh, you give yourself temporary health by, okay, you click on your token, go to healing, yeah. click healing, but instead of filling out the healing oh, temp pool, heal. you go into temp, yep. Yeah. And that'll healing be added as a zero. Well, yeah, that's just the basic macro. Yeah, you, have you have eight temp edge. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Hey. I, I see what's happening here. You're calling upon the ancient patron hosted inside of that skull, and now you are a, 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 some sort of 
necromantic avatar. Yeah, what what uh what he shit? That's oh, amazing. Yeah. Let's just keep touching everything. Do you have any overwhelming urges to to kill or murder or raise pestilence or anything like that? No, but I want to touch it again. No, don't do it. Uh, well, I mean, uh, well, hold your horse. I mean, I mean maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Do that quite. No, there's, you know. there's. He's he sucked it dry like a like a cheap prostitute might have. Anybody else like to touch it? it? Just a quick no, touch. absolutely not. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just a little more. Right. It just it seemed to work out for him just fine. So. I look Clearly, the because he's the luckiest damn thing that's ever drawn breath. As or maybe he's the chosen necromantic avatar and was destined to come here to fill the shoes of some ancient dead being. Or maybe I'm just lucky. Hey, maybe he's just lucky. Hey, maybe he's just lucky. <laughs> the swirling necromantic energy yet remains inside the skull. <laughs> I'm not touching it again. <laughs> you sure? I mean, you, sure you, oh, yeah, you sure you don't want to keep Spring riding folk. this fucking ride? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Scrippo gestures for them to continue walking. Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> one after I, the I, I might have one more attention. There was a secret passage that opened up. I mean, it's Wait, what? If you if you would remember, the, there's a giant the scarab. Golden... Oh yeah, the scarab. Oh wait, we touched on. a big old beetle and it moved out of the way. We yeah, need to search this other room first. Oh no, right. I, All right. I suppose if you I want to be thorough, these. yes. Yes, well you gotta understand. Over here. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Uh, I investigate the door for traps. Aha! Using your roguish eyes. Indeed. It's a good thing we brought a rogue. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good thing we thought of it. Totally fucking jabated me. I thought I was getting two wizards. Nope, I got a rogue. <laughs> all right, Moon Moon, you get one. That's all you get. All right, as you approach the uh, the door to investigate it for traps, your <laughs> roguish skills uh, come through. This door is trapped, and it is heavily trapped. Specifically, it has three traps laid upon it. The first <laughs> is a poisonous dart trap. The second is a spike trap hidden within the floor. And the third trap is what we like to call the bisector, as a pendulum <laughs> blade is stored within the eastern wall to be traded places to the western wall. All right, listen up, boys. If I wasn't here, you guys would be dead. Actually, you'd probably be down the scabbard or, or scarab right now, not even look at this door. But there are three traps, all of which will either kill or maim you severely. But behold, as I have come thoroughly prepared, and he pulls out his thieves' tools, witness true art in the form of mechanical dissection. All right. Impress me, big man. Scrumpo Those pulls definitely a- definitely chafe. Small man. Poison, uh, poison trap first, poison trap first. Okay, Scrumpo pulls out thieves tools from his fundoshi and presents it like a <laughs> Zelda video game. <laughs> All right, you pull out your thieves tools and you're going for the poison trap first? Yes. Sli also, what do I roll for that? Slide uh, of hand? Well, no, 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 you, well, you could just use that roll, but uh, did you take expertise in thieves tools or only proficiency? No. Okay, in that case, you need to roll a d20 plus your proficiency bonus plus your dexterity, which in this case should total out to five. Yes. Also, I hope you guys didn't see that. I fucked up. All right. <laughs> All right. Scrumpo no, pulls up his fundoshi and sits on the ground. He lays down upon his back to look straight up to the ceiling. Aha, clever to try to hide the control panel there. He then <laughs> throws the thief's tool directly into the ceiling, knocking free the panel and catching <laughs> the small carved device magically enchanted to control the poison trap. He begins to viciously stab the living shit out of it with the other thief's tool, marring it and destroying it. The poison dart trap has been defeated, but two yet remain. W were you raised by goblins? I was, I mean, yes, so were goblins where I live. In fact, quite a few goblins, but that's besides the point. The next trap is a floor trap that I believe how old spikes and I'm not quite sure how mechanically the floor would be revealed to expose said spikes, but uh, let's try and disarm that. All right. Give me another one. <laughs> Scrumpo uh, turns over with his face directly into the spike hole and takes a little looksy doodles inside. 
His gaze reveals to him a big old pointy spike, but no control panel. He begins to try and wiggle the spikes free, and then, at a moment's far, far too late, realizes that he has only set it off. Make me <laughs> a dexterity saving throw to avoid okay. being impaled. There are worse deaths. I imagine having your skin ripped off by a necromantic fog would have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Fortunately, although Scrumpo may have made a mistake mechanically in Damn. terms of dis disabling the trap, his incredible Fundoshi attuned skills at avoidance, he stands <laughs> on the top of his head, his small gnomish body, avoiding cool. every spike. Uh, Watch um, and learn. Uh, oh, that was uh, impressive. Having nobody to <laughs> impale, the spikes return. Sad. Uh, Huck claps like impressive. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, Good nice. impressed. Well, bad news. I'm not quite sure how to disarm this, and I probably need a lot of time to figure it out. So, oh, uh, just send the it went off and then doesn't reset. So, the spike trap's good. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Actually, forget what I just said. The spikes are never coming back because the idiot that designed this trap doesn't have a way to automatically reset them. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, so there's one last trap, the bisector, which is a giant swinging blade. And now witness as I most carefully have it not trigger when I <laughs> when we walk through the door. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm scared for my life. <laughs> Huck, Huck stares intently as if he were watching a magic show. Hey, listen, I need... Which one of you guys is the fat... Oh, the vampire, of course. Hey, listen. Yes? Yeah. Stand nearby and get ready to grab me, all right? If you, see, <laughs> if, if you hear a loud click that is not followed by me going, yes, then that is your cue to try and save me. Oh, yeah, uh, I understand. <laughs> all right, but listen. You might also get hit by this, so... This is a boring oh, I'm, experience. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very fast. Uh... Huck, Huck walks over and leans in close to Guy and says, If he doesn't do it, think about how much blood you might have. <laughs> I'd take a step back and no, go. No. You guys you guys got this. I believe in you. Hold on, I'm gonna I, step I'm gonna step against the eastern wall because it feels I stand like by helping with my arms folded. Okay. No, <laughs> hold your hands out. Get ready. As, assume a pose in which you would be striking at an enemy whose blood you wish to suck. Mmm. <laughs> mm. okay, okay, whatever. Fine. You know what? No, I don't. I don't even need you because I got this. I'm gonna disarm this. And guess what? Guess what's gonna be on my store? Some ancient elven artifacts, rife with delicious magic and other assorted gold pieces that we'll be able to sell, or I mean, use to buy stuff. It's going to be great. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and disarm the bisector now. You got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You lean carefully against the wall and begin to work the panel. You find the hinge that controls the deadly blade, and as you try to undo it, it does a ka-chunk. It does not go off, but you feel as if you almost did. But, hey, its mechanism is still exposed. Perhaps another attempting of fate is in order. All right, listen, I messed up, but not this yeah. time. The first time was, was pure. No, it was not. It was happenstance, all right? Complete coincidence. Right. I blame this solely upon the evil energies in this place. Now witness. And he flips, of those. flips his tools in his hands, and like from left to right hand. I am going to destroy this trap. Roll He's going to get cut in half, and it's going to be hilarious. Well, <laughs> once again, I found a chunk. But the I trap is not my experience. Up. It's uh, intentionally getting it to come out might uh, perhaps be the best play. For reason, Jerry, all right, all right this hold on. Trap. That's, uh, I'm going to back up a little bit just to check out this uh, pool of water here. All right, no, guy, trigger the trap why and jump back. Oh, why don't we where? just... Trap expert, please, where, where is the trigger? Oh, hold, it's over here, and then he points at it. But also, wait, are you saying... Wait, hold on. Wait, you're saying that we could throw like a rock and then get the blade to come out and then not be harmed by the blade that comes out because the rock has triggered the pressure plate that is going to set this off. Why not just push the door open with the halberd? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I yeah, mean, I a, a lot of options. We have a lot of options. You know what? I didn't even consider it. Uh, the, no, the mechanism I, I, as well, you just jam it up. 
I can't even hold that Albert. Uh, man. If only we had somebody who... I mean, we got... Well, I'm just saying, that's why it wasn't in my purview of thinking. I wasn't even considering poking it with a long stick because my, my weak, fragile arms can only support weapons of finesse and other assorted things that hey, I've always been good at. You hey, mind if uh, we uh, use that there big iron? Well, uh, I mean, is he going to be okay? I've, I've had this fella for a long time. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I mean, have you ever clashed swords with big iron before? Well, of course, but... Uh, well, then I'm sure I, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, okay, I just mean, poke, uh, it. poke it. Come just on, poke, poke it. Just poke the door. Yeah, open. just poke the door. Give it poke, a poke. Poke the door. Poke the door. Poke <laughs> okay. Give it a poke. Uh, g gingerly, gingerly, he sort of looks between the door and and Big Iron, and he sort of starts to do it at first, and then sort of thinks about it, and then he sticks Big Iron out and pokes the door. <laughs> the door does not open because its lever is not being manipulated. Hold on. All right, listen up. Manipulate the lever. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all these people here? Yeah, no, not your lever, but also, I, I don't even know how you would do that. But manipulate, pu push you even the lever up with the, the, blade, the tip of your halberd. It's near the, the door you see right there, and then he points at it. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> so, so, wait, you want me to just hold the lever? Yeah. Lip with your weapon. Okay. Uh, do it. Can, so is the lever in the up position or the down position? All right. If you want to actually do this, <laughs> oh God! Give me a uh, sleight of hand check. Me? <laughs> yes, for finesse purposes. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, hang on. Uh, skill check, sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hold on, you're doing it wrong. Wait. All right. You uh, you you, tr you try to kind of wriggle the lever, and while trying to twist the back end of of the, of the shaft of the halberd to try and like wriggle it open, it slips from your grasp, falls to the ground, and smacks on top of the pressure plate. <laughs> the bisector is now activated. Oh, so just, is it just swinging back and forth, or no? It, it goes yeah. from here to there, like this. The two of you need to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Scrumpo secretly is pleased by this device. <laughs> they, they move back. What is happening? Uh. <laughs> All right, Huckleberry, you are able to leap backwards. Your centi centaur Whoa. reflexes taking over. Whoa! Guy, I have unfortunate news. No. Ah! <laughs> Someone save me! Are you dead? You take 13 points of <laughs> slashing damage. Oh my god. As you are cut right across the chest. Oh, we both did oh, it again. Oh, here, let me heal you. Oh my. I, my bad. Are you, are you quite all right? All right, good news though. All right, no. I'll be on there. No, you're, <laughs> you're fine. Okay. You're fine. You're a vampire. You don't even have blood to spill, right? It's fine. It's okay. I'm in so much pain! Just look up your Sounds own blood, like it's fine. Pain. Help! <laughs> That's fine, just, just look it up. It's an illusion, right? You've, uh, you've transcended mortal trappings such as pain. Anyway, the trap has gone off. It can't go back on, I think. Hold on. I'm not sure. Let me take another one. Hey, you're welcome to yeah, try. You, I don't yeah, want to... Yeah, you go, you go first, Grumpo. The guys, the guys is I would feel disabled. so much better if I could just have a drink of blood. Drink my blood. I literally needed to live. Drink my blood, take my wrist. I, I slurp his wrist. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you like that. Oh. That, that dirty right, damn all right. oh, hold, blood. Hold, hold on. Um, <laughs> hold on. Oh, all right, no. all right. Guy, <laughs> as you uh, slurp the blood from the wrist of Scrumpo, it tastes like onions, and old socks. <laughs> He's a bastard! <laughs> <laughs> but beggars oh. can't be choosers. <laughs> also, as Fine, you pull your mouth away, it is covered in a strange oily sweat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, wait, hold on. Am I a vampire now? Did I just become a vampire? N no. What? Is that how? Yeah, you just got bit. No, no I don't. I, I don't quite think that's works. how that works. No, no, I'm not. God. Damn, I'm not at that level. 
You might have gangrene, however. <laughs> Don't give me gangrene. Yeah, that, that is your problem. You gotta When's watch out time? for gangrene. When's the last time you, you scrubbed your teeth? Mmm. All right, doesn't matter. Whatever. Feels right, happy. morning. Your teeth. <laughs> Huckleberry Wait. chooses not to mention the fact that he was on the ground drinking up fucking sandy blood earlier. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I you know, it's all secret's right. safe with me. Yeah, it's all right. When was the last time you cleaned your teeth? Ah, uh, you know. All right. Do I need to investigate again to see if the trap is, I mean, the, is trap, it go the off traps again? are all either disabled or set off. All right, listen, guy, you get to go first. You know what? And then he waves his hand, like, like oh, wait, flourishing his hand toward the door. The, do the door is completely safe, and you get to see f with your eyes first the glorious treasures that lie beyond that door. <laughs> his, his, like, shirt is cut in half. His hands are trembling. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? Listen, guy, I'm, you, I'm watch your back up here. Oh, 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 all right. Push uh, the door, the, the lever. All, All right. I'll operate his lever. Okay. The door is locked. <laughs> what? <No>. Son <laughs> of a open. bitch. Hold on. I, got, I, got, I forgot to pick the door, guys. Hang on. Back up. Get out of my way. Uh, all right. Uh, the, uh, what, do I, what do I roll for picking doors? D20 plus five? The same thing he's been rolling. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Scrumpo, no. uh, Scrumpo places his face against the side of the lock and begins to whisper sweet nothings into it. Slowly, he <laughs> places the tool inside and the door allows him to enter, Baka. All right, the door is unlocked. Well done. Is it actually no, open we now? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, come on, let's go. I push yeah. the door open. <laughs> All right. Inside, you see two uh, two braziers that seem to be filled with an ethereal light lighting up this room. You can see that part of this room is collapsed in on itself with sand pouring in from the dunes above. And you also see a curious table with various arcane paraphernalia stacked on top of it. Take me an arcane check the table. to identify. Ooh. I'll check out the table. Very I well. will also check out the table. I will check out... Uh, the brazzer. All right. Oh, that was odd. <laughs> Ooh, right. Oh, the brazzers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I have investigated it. Ikara, you can roll as well. Uh, I'm not an owner of my. Uh, oh, hold on. My hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So I can't do anything. There you go. Uh, now you can. Do I need Do I need proficiency in Arcana to roll on this? No. Okay. Well then. <coughs> Scrumpa scr uh, waddles up and then also peers at the things on top of the thing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, do you, do you fellows need those lights? What, the Brazzers? <laughs> yes. What? Can you not step in light? Wait, no, oh, you no. were in the light. I was in, it's just... No, fine, you you investigate the, the cool room. What's out. wrong with <laughs> light? We were outside for quite a bit. He's, a, he's a vampire, listen, all right. I mean, maybe we were in... It. We were in the sun, like, is that a problem, or...? But the sun's different than this, clearly, because this is a light that can be extinguished, whereas the sun, not without particular and concentrated efforts, cannot be extinguished. So, what you find with all of your combined checks on top of the stone table is you find an, a very old but still functional alchemist's laboratory. Mortal and pestles and ancient alembics cover the top Ooh. of this stone table. There are also old, but yet still preserved ingredients that one could craft a potion. So, who wants to play a game of make weird shit? I love, I love tinkering with shit. That's all I'm about. That's his I whole steez. My, my whole steez is, let's mix some shit together and hopefully don't die. All right, here we go. You have two vials that you can fill. So you have two potions you can make. All okay. right. There are three different materials. There is green dust, blue dust, and red dust. And okay. there is also oil or water. All right. You have to choose a dust and a liquid to start the potion. Let me know which ones you choose. Pick the red one. Y you really think the red one? I like the red one. But what, a oh, but that green, it's really, it's It is a nice red. green, but red. I'll, you know, I feel like you know what you're doing, so I'll go with the red here. That's so your water. first mistake. 
The oh. Every health potion is red, clearly. That's quite true. Yeah, that is true. All right. I you never take a blue uh, health what, potion. Well, then what would blue be? You take a that pinch of poison. You take a pinch <laughs> of red dust, and you mix it with. Uh, we'll go with oil. Tracking. Loading. One beep, moment. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, guy, do you want me to put out those brazzers for you? All right, you have mixed uh, oil no, and red bother. dust. Now, uh, you can choose to either heat it now or add another ingredient on the side. The ingredients on the side are as follows. There is a rancid mushroom. Uh, there is a... Is Hold there on. kale? No, there's a rancid <laughs> mushroom. There is a stick of spice an unknown spice there That's is weird. a white glowing stone and finally there is what appears to be an effigy of an elven maiden Ooh. Ooh. oh so you can either choose to apply heat now which will complete the potion or you can add one of those four ingredients. I... Do I add the effigy or do I pour the potion over the effigy? Oh, the effigy's just crushed and then added to oh, the potion. Okay. Yeah. It's made out of earwax. Effigy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you take the effigy of the Elven Maiden and you smash her in your hand and lower it into a concoction. All right. as, I, as I'm as I'm swirling this thing around, I just take a look at a car and I just say, "I have no idea what I'm doing." <laughs> All right. Hold on. And as he says that, Scrubbo says, "Wow, Big Tree really knows what he looks like and what he's doing right now." Yeah, they they just jumped right at this. They must be experts. They are experts. Clearly, we got, we're so lucky. All right. Would you like to apply heat? I will apply heat. Very back well. Back up a little bit. Quite capital. <laughs> Where are you go? Where are you going? Come back here. Don't you want to see the final I'm effort? I'm just going to mine the 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 brazier. We can we can sheep plenty well from over here. Don't you worry. But I still, why are y'all always brazier. walking away from me every time I touch something? You wanted to talk. You walked away when I was doing the trap. This is fine. All right, you rolled, uh, you rolled very high on the Arcana, so there's you actually know what you've made. You have made a potion of greater elven recovery. This potion will Ooh. fully heal an individual to full Ooh, hit points yeah. whenever consumed. Oh. Wow. wow. Am I able to make a second potion? There's only one vial left, but you could repeat the same thing you made, or you could experiment with another. So I, I hold the potion in my hands, and I, hey, I know what this is. It's a full healing potion. Oh my god! Oh, that's amazing. Fantastic. It'll return that's... you to prime state in just a few seconds. Well, it's okay, I guess. Precious. I told you I knew what I was doing. <laughs> that man, he like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> here, come here, car. Yeah, I guess. You hold this. I, I suppose so. You, you do know. Well. That's fine. I know That's fine. exactly what I'm doing. Watch this. I go ahead and I take the I take the green dust this time, uh -huh. and then I sprinkle it with a little bit of water, uh -huh. and then I add the white stone, and then I apply the heat. <gasps> okay. You have made uranium. <laughs> <laughs> you have lymphoma. Oh no. Your hair starts to fall out. Yikes. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Let's see if he makes a good one. That'll work. All right. All right. You've all still keep the same Arcana check. Uh, you have made a potion of ooze form. The consumption of this potion will turn the uh, the, the imbiber into an ooze-like creature with a similar form to the original one they had before. And for one minute, they will berserk rage against all enemies and allies. Oh, interesting. So you've made beer. 
<laughs> I mean, that's that's depend great. Depending on who you give it to, kind of. You want some? <laughs> I'll, I'll pass until perhaps later. Your loss. I think it's sort of everyone's gain, but all right. All right, you have successfully <laughs> played my game of potion making. Hooray! Yay! Sure. Uh, what hey. you're making there, big tree? Well, I made a potion that fully heals us. Well, one of us. I went ahead and gave that to a car. Cause I feel like it'd be better for him to hold actually important things. Yes, he looks very responsible and, and want to hold on to things that w would not be lost. <laughs> yes, people people with wings are known for their finger dexterity. <laughs> hey, I've, I've read a book and I think it shed that there. <laughs> Play a mean piano sonata as well. Oh, I'd love to hear that when we get back. Oh, oh, oh do you really? I, I, I could join you for a duet. <laughs> oh God! I also I also made a potion that makes you go insane. Oh, it, but it all—I mean—it also turns you into a pile of ooze for oh. a little bit. So you're like a giant blob of anger and hatred for a little bit. Ah, oh, my parents. <laughs> Deep. You all right there, guy? Yes, yes, I'll be fine. It okay. was seventy years ago. Yeah, well, okay. that makes more sense. <laughs> I'll hold on to this one just in case. All right, no, that's fine. All right, now we can go down the scabbard. It's—it's it's it finally time. I mean, the, the scarab. <laughs> the scabbard. <laughs> the scabbard scarab. The scarab uh, scarab scaffold. Uh, while walking through here, do I notice the blood missing? Um, make me a perception check, but I'm going to have to raise that DC because you'd have to know to look at it. Plus, there's sand. Plus, I'm just, I'm yeah, just, I, I'm just asking. Well, let's see if you do. I imagine I would need a really high perception. Mm hmm. You notice that there's dig marks where your blood was. Yep. Hey, guy. Yes. Where'd my blood go? Your, your ex. <laughs> I. Well, excuse me. What? You know the blood. That <laughs> Where'd they go? Do you keep track of all your blood? <laughs> not typically, no, but when there's scratch marks in the sand where my hopeful. blood was. Or perhaps one of the vampire. mummies arose. Yes, no. We're a working theory. Anyone theories? Anyone? But, I mean, even if he did drink your blood, right? It's not that bad. He drank I'm going to put ooze inside my blood next time. <laughs> to each his own. You can have more of my blood, it's fine. Let's, let's oh, ooh, really? Right. right now? No, not right now. When you oh, need it. All right, all right. Let's I, can, I, I can definitely I wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him I, I secret. I mean, what's won me? Won me. <laughs> I look at me. Huckleberry and do like the throat slicing thing. <laughs> 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 all right. As you approach the scarab, you see that a staircase leading down has been revealed. Do you wish to take it? Yes. Well, well but well. not the first one. <laughs> now, hold on. Why don't we take a quick breather? I mean, we did just, you know, fight some oh, mummies yeah. and disarm some traps. I mean, before we go down there, who knows what's in there? Brilliant idea. Let's make camp. Yes. I love rest. In the area filled with dead people. Yeah, why not? And traps. They're, well, they're, 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 they're dead twice, twice now. Yeah, double dead. That means, uh, I don't think they can come back after that. Uh, ca camp, excuse me. Did anyone bring a box? I do not I, have a box. If you look around, there's a few that you might be able to use. <laughs> oh. Currently unoccupied. Uh, okay, I'll knock on this sarcophagus. There's no one home. I, I think, I don't, yeah. <laughs> mm, yes, this, this will work fine. I believe the previous tenants are toward the left. Mm, yes. <laughs> Guy, inside you see that this sarcophagus, although it is a bit dated in style, is quite comfortable and very luxurious. Mm, yeah. Certainly a step we up from the back, maybe crates even. you kept hiding inside of whenever you were on the docks. Hey, how about we take like, you know, like six, eight hours sleep, you know, in the sand. It's kind of comfortable a little bit as long as you don't inhale it when you're sleeping. And then we, I mean, we did travel here. We didn't rest afterwards. You know, it's a, it's a perfect opportunity. Get a little shut eye. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. So 10 days or? <laughs> you guys have hours. 
I'm just, I'm, I'm, Ooh, I wish I'm gonna, I wish it implying of, you know, gonna hide behind the beetle. Oh. Okay. Your car roosts. Your <laughs> car roosts. All right. Scrub bus sleeps in the dirt. <laughs> All right. Huck, what would you like yeah. to do? Um, I guess Huck will, uh, hole up in a corner, uh, over here with his back <laughs> to the wall. All right. Wait. <laughs> And everyone is now asleep. <laughs> Hold on a second. As I need to lean back in my chair as no. this has not happened in oh, six forgot. years. Uh, you know, I, since I'm a bird, I, uh, he does roost at a height. That's fine. Because nobody's on watch. <laughs> oh, baby. Hold on. It's been a long time, dude. <laughs> okay. I'm safe. <laughs> Nobody will think to look in here. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. I, I Listen, I'm hiding this. behind the stair. Wait, okay? wait, were we doing a long rest? I was just he saying this is a short rest. Oh eight god. Scropo, Scropo loudly and annoyingly said the time. Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice, be kind to them because I cannot. Okay. And it's for first watch, second watch, third watch. All right. Very well. Not it. As each of you begin to wake up, you will notice that through great fortune, <laughs> none of you were murdered while you slept. Never punished. <laughs> all right. Never punished. You were all fully healed. Yay. Okay. Also, hold on. I have a special <laughs> thing because of my where my character's from, that, that cool ship that's off the coast of Dalton, the Cursed Land. You're going to roll your uh, dice? Yes, my my background allows specifically for a plus two to uh, any of my attributes based or determined by a 1d6. But also, if I roll a two, it counts as a one. That's a little aside for the Twitch chat. All right, I'm going to roll 2d6 now. Uh, and I get to pick which one I keep, right? Yeah, you get to roll uh, two. Okay. I forget. Hold on, I gotta look Take at my character sheet. <laughs> Double check. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it just goes down uh, the standard. Oh yeah, it goes. It goes down. So that'd be con and uh, int. Oh, obviously I'm gonna take int, baby. Okay. All right. We did. Um, clerics recover spell slots, right? Long rest. Mm-hmm. Every, yeah, every, and long, long rest, rest is everyone's just back. reset. Yeah, everybody's right. reset. Yeah. Man. I have not had a party not put up a watch in like six years, dude. I realized that as soon as as soon as Huckleberry yeah. was like, I go to the corner and go sleep, I was like, oh fuck! <laughs> he sensed it. He sensed my smile, dude. He's like, no! Holy fuck. Bro, dude. Of all the bad things, hey, at least Guy was safe, okay? Yeah, that's true. Nobody would have been He could have carried, he he carried up it. Everyone's dead. Imagine he waking up, everyone's captured. Oh, oh no. Did oh, they my. leave any blood? All right. Hey, see, but but guy surviving would have allowed our characters to live on potentially if he decided to bring our bodies back and then go through a long and arduous quest of resurrecting us potentially for just fucking randomly, dude. That's oh, I would definitely do that. <laughs> All right. And then a, a sh an offshoot campaign begins of guy's adventure yeah. to bring back his dead comrades. The guy I knew them for one day. <laughs> <laughs> In either case. Fortune was on your side. You awaken, unmolested, and fully rested. Oh, that was a good nap. Uh, morning, everyone. I, I right. nailed dirt twice, but I feel good. Awesome. I'm feeling good. Anyway, everyone feeling spry, ready to go. Guy, did you sleep in the sarcophagus? It, yes. Is that a problem? No, I just find it oh, weird. That's all. <laughs> I'm, all right, you slept in the dirt. Hey, clip clop, go down the stairs. At you're, really, you're up. You want to, you want to check for traps or anything? Oh yeah, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> of course, I mean, am, I the, am I the rogue here or are you? Hey, I prefer. I mean, I could just walk face first into a magic pool again. I prefer charlatan. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm feeling at, pretty good. I, I think I could take this. I'll lead the way. All right, and I will look uh, for traps, of course. 
all right because that's what i do that's what that's what i'm good at is i'm gonna look for traps and then disarm them if there are traps which there will not be because i know these bastard elves are too fucking lazy to trap their own stairs and that they practice the, the trapping of their their own alcoves where they make stupid potions you know he's going berserk and i haven't even put the ooze on him yet <laughs> you sure you still have that potion I do. Right. He hasn't Let's touched go. it yet. I'm not All drunk. Right. Oh, okay. Please <laughs> make me a perception check. Search for traps. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna skulk down the stairs, like arms out, surfer pose, looking for traps, checking left, checking right. Boop, 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 boop. Perception. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have any talent in that. <laughs> you detect no traps, and it would seem <laughs> that fortune is on your side, as there is no traps. And you wind up Ooh. here. Ooh. All right. As you come to the bottom of the staircase, you see a massive cavern that must have been beneath the complex. You see that there is a large opening in the top where sun pours through in a dramatic fashion into the center dais. Waterfalls of sand can be seen falling from the ceilings and filtering through. Whatever this place was, it was grand in its purpose. Perhaps a temple, perhaps something else entirely. But whatever it is, it has been lost to the sands above. Oh, this place is big. I immediately go over here and just start looking at stuff. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. A car takes to the takes to the ceiling and flies around looking uh, at stuff. All right. As you start to fly, first of all, let me give you your uh, height clearance. There's oh yeah, the, thanks. Uh, the ceiling is a hundred feet mechanically. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, only, I only get to fifty. I think. So, so you have a well. No, you can keep flying. What I'm saying is that. Oh wait, you, are you a think, Kenku yeah. or a Aracokra? Aracokra. Yeah, you you can just fly. You're fine. Oh yeah, screw that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I need you to make me a special perception check, uh, Icar, since you can fly. <laughs> That's actually nice. enough. Oh. Follow my arrow. You see that because that is 60 feet up off the ground um i thought i was going to miss it however there's something here and um what is it uh that is a there's stone a chest bed. it appears to be a, a chest of some sort wow shall i open it yeah i mean if wait you're we great. should wait don't touch it just yet Stop Why are we yelling? I don't know. No! I feel like walking over the there. Car will, or, the car will take a look to see if it's uh, tra uh, trapped. All right. Make me a investigation check. The chest is not trapped, nor is it locked. However, the lid is very heavy and will take a strength check in order to push your way or to push it open. Uh, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a try. All right. So what you got, bird get, arms? Get him spindly arms. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> As you push with all your might, it just won't open. It's too heavy. Feathers flying everywhere. <laughs> no. What's the problem? Just lift Quite it. Lodge. Live with your back. If, Stop it. Just get it open. <laughs> <laughs> it's Come just on. a bit too, and it's made of stone. And I'm, again, hollow bones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you lift me up there? I don't know. Can I? I don't actually know. Okay, so if you wish to fly with an ally, uh, I have a, I have good news and potentially upsetting news. Are you heavier <laughs> than a coconut? The good news is, is that you can actually do that. The bad news is, is that you can't carry more than double of your carrying capacity. Your strength is nine which means the most you can carry is 108 or 180. <laughs> and you uh, can carry me. I can Yay! tell you with the possible exception of Scrumpo, you're not <laughs> carrying the rest of these people, especially not the centaur. <laughs> I mean, look, I, can, I know I can stand to lose a few pounds here, but uh, anyway, you are I'm a not, quadruped. <laughs> All right, fine. Or right. a sextuple pet. So <laughs> without, without asking, a car swoops down and grabs uh, Tries to grab Scrumpo by the Fundoshi. God, imagine how horrifying that would be. Carry me away. Ah, just comes down. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Scrumpo embraces it. 
Like Jesus on the cross, his arms are spread, dude. He's like, yeah, come on, let's go. And we're off. <laughs> All right, flippity flap. Scrumpo and uh, Cars going on a little adventure. Okay, <laughs> you successfully uh, pick up Scrumpo, although, you know, how much do you weigh? Uh, I mean, like 80 pounds. I think that's fair. Okay, right? so He's... pushing to the very limit, very tiring, but you get him 60 feet up. All right. What do you do, <laughs> Scrumpo? How uh, do you open the heavy stone chest? Listen up. All right, here's the plan. So my infamous mage hand may be able to assist us in this endeavor. The three of us can definitely try to push this stupid elfin sarcophagus over onto its ass. Are you down, Birdman? All right. I wonder if they know what a fulcrum is. <laughs> no. <laughs> scru 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 cast yeah, my, uh, my, my mustache gets full crumb sometimes. Mm. Man, I cook it. The mage hand, while insignificant, uh, I would like to assist us in uh, pushing you, you the know top what? of the circle. Sure. I you, mean, can I not do that? Or no, do you, I no, 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 you, that's fine. So you may roll with advantage, Scrumpo, and you okay. can try to roll strength again, Akar. Let's see some strength checks from, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, dear. So, <laughs> So with a with advantage, I get to roll. Oh, you do get to roll again. Please, dear God, roll again. Okay. So, uh, so this is what the three of you guys hear from up there. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Oh, Y'all okay up there? No. Hey. Let's go. Hey, uh, Huck. Yeah. <laughs> you got a rope? Mm. <laughs> Does yeah. anyone have a rope? I, I have a rope. Perhaps also, you might. Hold on, great. How, 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 how high is this cliff? All right, the cliff is 60 feet 60 mechanically feet. off the ground, and ropes are 50 feet in their yep. uh, in their length, yep. uh, in their incremental length. Now you can, can have I multiple stand on I only have I only have up. Uh, yeah, you could. I only have 50. 50, 50, 50 I only have 50 feet of rope. That's okay. all I got. All right. So let's let's go through this one step at a time. So you have 50 feet of rope. All right. Where's your anchor point? Are you the anchor point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, anchor, I'm gonna anchor around the sarcophagus, which okay. would probably remove a great deal. Correct. Of, it would remove 15 yeah. feet of the rope for you to tie it yeah. around the sarcophagus. Uh, is it, can you do? You have, can you jump like MJ? <laughs> you got your fucking Nikes on, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, yeah. but then you have to strength check to hold us. Oh wait, he can stand on the centaur. The centaur is like seven feet tall, right? Well, uh, Huck, I need to I need to stand on your back. Where? All right. <laughs> listen, don't mesh my hair, all right? I, I listen. I promise I won't mess up your hair, but I gotta stand on your all back. Right, all right, all right. Wait, man. hold on. Does anyone else have rope? No. What? You went to the what? A uh, subterranean I, tomb? And you uh, brought no Huck, rope? You have 50 I feet brought of an rope. inkwell. Well, maybe you can write a letter and order us some rope. I have an explorer's pack. What the hell's in that? 50 <laughs> feet of rope. Well, I happen to know. I also seem to have a. I, oh, look, I've just discovered it. Uh, Brilliant. I've got some rope. Let's link our ropes together. Yes, hey, what's, let's. What's in a scholar's oh, pack? Uh, nerd shit, but no rope. <laughs> oh, nerd. <laughs> oh, wait, I get a oh, he has an inkwell as well. Actually... How you guys can write letters eyes. to each other. All right, so here's the plan. We're going to use the sarcophagus as an anchor, link the ropes together, and the big tree's going to come here, and then we're going to try one more time. Actually, we can get a guy up here, too, except uh, for Clip Clop, because he's too fat, and he won't be able to climb it. And then all the screws are push this over, all right? We got it. Is that the plan? So we do have two ropes? Yes. I have a rope as well? Yes, okay, so you great. both have rope. Okay, there's going to be jack I made sure you had at least 100 rope between the party for a very good okay. reason. <laughs> right, that's... That sounds that sounds reasonable here. Take just you do this. I'll. Right. Scrumpo does it. He scur scurries, waddles around the sarcophagus, and then wraps it, triple knots it, and then waddles back to the edge of the cliff. And he's fucking. He's like, all right, come on, let's go. All right, come all on, right, let's get up here. We're looting corpses right now. These are undeserving. Okay, hold, hold on, Elvin. hold on, hold on. You drop the rope. Who starts to climb? I climb first. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Uh, I, I just want to see, guy. Fuck, I want to yeah. see a fucking centaur climb the rope. <laughs> All right, Cent uh, so Big Tree and Guy begin to climb the rope. 
What are the two? Uh, what are your weights? I'm oh, waiting until no. he's done. Okay, oh, Big Tree, what is your weight? <laughs> I don't know. Probably like two, two ten, two forty, two fifty. What is your Constitution score? Oh, uh, incoming ten, Erica. <laughs> what is my con? Wait, you have like a ton of HP. Actually, he's probably like twelve, right? Uh, my con is fifteen. Whoa, dude! What the so fuck? Then you're, uh, I'll put you at two hundred and twenty pounds since you don't have it uh, calculated. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Are you gonna make the sarcophagus fall on him, dude? <laughs> Please no. Gonna crush him with this this dead body? Please no. <laughs> Man, I was two away from doing it. But <laughs> no. it seems that fortune is on your side. You climb Always to the top lucky. on the cliff. Wow, excellent climbing technique, Big Tree. Thank you. <laughs> Not did quite, we possibly get this open. Did, all right. Did the did the sarcophagus shift at all? Uh, a little no, bit. No, it's, it's, quite, it's fine. I mean, it depends on how you define shift. I mean, it, 10, 15 feet closer to the edge, is that really a big difference? Uh, aren't we all shifting one way or another? <laughs> aren't we all shifting one way or another? All right, group effort now. We're okay, all, on, the count of, on the count of three, we need to consensually agree to rob this burial site and the person inside of it, a person that breathed and lived at one point and had Three. a family. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh, I was going the other way. One, let's go. Okay. Frank, James, oh. please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use my mage hand again. Okay. <laughs> okay. It still exists. It's, it's, fl it's gripping futilely at the side. Nah. All right. Uh, I. Guy, did you roll? Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm a weakling. Poor Huckleberry on the ground. Jesus. Okay, <laughs> so. Y'all need some help up there. All of the <laughs> yes. not strength score using people push against the, the stone lid with all they've got. Big tree tuckers out. Guy tuckers out. Leaning against the, the stone lid. But then there's something happens. <laughs> Car and Scrumpo trade gazes as they dig deeper than they've ever dug before. It seems that this old man bird still got a little fight left into him, and the Fundoshi shines with power. The <laughs> car lets out a battle cry. That's not power, baby. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not power, baby. I thought you had hollow bones. <laughs> and thus the lid is pushed off the stone chest. Oh, I did it. Oh, excellent job! Wow! <laughs> You're so strong! Inside? Wait, Joe, did you do a battle cry and then you were muted? No, I'm good. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was trying to trigger it my, my stream deck. Okay. Shit the bed. All right, so inside the stone chest, you find the following items. A wand. <gasps> a robe. <gasps> Three gold ingots. <gasps> Whoa! And you find a, a curious talisman. What? <gasps> wow! Hey, Big Tree, give me your Look. discerning arcane eye on these definitely magical things. You're right, they do look very magical. Let me look at them with both of my eyes. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh. Having specified using both of his eyes, Big Tree is able to identify <laughs> that the robe is not magical, although it is historically valuable, as it is oh. one of the robes of the apprentices to the Elven Lords, a style oh. that is not in make anymore. We should burn it! <laughs> I agree. <laughs> All right, uh, the wand is identified to be a wand of... Fireball. Magic missile. Uh, the wand so, of, this wand of magic missile has 10 charges. In 5e, what determines whether or not you can use a wand? Because I just, know use magical devices. You just use 5. Yeah, you just oh. hold them and do it. So anyone can use a wand. Yep. Whoa. All right. Word. Give it. Cool. Hold on. 
Hey, oh, I, pr worm? I propose. I propose we give this Juan Dogleberry. You know, I feel bad because he watched us achieve this great team laden victory. He's all the way down. Wait, he didn't I even help us. I, what? It doesn't matter if you he has us. hooves. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you discriminating against animal people? Because we're going to have a conversation, you and I. <laughs> you know, right up there. You, I'm just. Wait, I'm, I'm peeking over the side. People? I'm peeking over the side to see if Huck even like. Can he hear us? What are you doing? I, I can probably hear you talking, but I can't hear what you're saying. All right, cool. Yeah. Huck being a hey. fighter and probably the most closest thing to a responsible person that I've seen so far. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe a car as well. It's just on guard. Hope there's no enemies <laughs> just looking nearby. around like everything all right up there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I, I have an idea, Huck. Yeah. Okay, imagine is that, I found... Is that your idea, me? That's a pretty good idea if I say so myself. <laughs> All right. I found a very tiny halberd. <laughs> whoa, whoa, a tiny, whoa, a little iron. <laughs> I found you a little iron. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Get ready to All catch right. it. Oh, right, well, okay. I, pick, I, pick I up mean, maybe don't throw it. It is a, well, I All right. a little iron. <laughs> All right. And I here. Just drop it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like go to catch it. You catch it. <laughs> little iron has been acquired. Oh well, little iron meet big iron. And then I sort of like I sort of like puppet show them to each like to each other like. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Well, well, welcome to the team. Buddy. Big no, iron looks down upon little iron with a look of sagely wisdom and nods yeah. knowingly. Hey. Just so you know, the activation word for that wand is Baba Booey. You gotta say it every time you shoot it. Bob, oh, oh, I'm not sure I don't want to go off. That's wait, a, wait, yeah. obviously. But you, I mean, you gotta point it and then say Baba Booey. And then wait, that, <laughs> that shoots the I gotta show you it every time? Yes, that's how wands work. Okay, that is right, how right, magic I, works. I can confirm. That's all right, all right, all right. Well, I, I don't know nothing about no magic, but uh, I'll, I'll the, trust you. Oh, I go ahead hug, and also hug. take the uh, robe and put it in my satchel. It's called a verbal component. Very important. Verbal what else component. was in there? Did we get everything that was in there? Uh, there's a robe, <laughs> a, a wand, and three gold ingots and a curious talisman. Oh, did, did uh, we identify? Oh, yeah. Did we I ID, try to yeah, identify talisman. the talisman? I'm waiting on who pick up, picks up the talisman. <laughs> I'm not Whoa. touching that shit. I'm looking at it. <laughs> Why did you specify what it is. that, Arcadum? I'm <laughs> not touching it up. <laughs> you oh, wow. at Dude, it. my character I literally to loves touch touching it. fucking everything. <laughs> Make an arcana check for the talisman. Or actually, no, excuse the, me, religion check for the talisman. Oh, uh, religion man, check. Man, are you sure you don't want to take that arcana check? Well, no, you can keep the 18. Just add whatever modifier is relevant. In case you have I actually don't know. I do I do have Oh no. Oh wow. No, oh, I don't. Wow. So. Big tree. Oh, oh wait, no, I, I was looking at a card. I'm those, smart. Hell yeah. Those two are sufficient to identify that this talisman is a holy symbol of Falael, which is the uh, uh which is the patron of the elves, the elven god. Blech. Quite a bit of elven things in here, isn't there? Uh, yeah, yeah, it seems to kind of be the theme. This is an elven tomb, you magnificent bird person. <laughs> <laughs> Scrumpo, would you like to pick this up? No, no, absolutely not. Why? Why don't you want to pick it up? It's because just a talisman. I spent my entire life despising these stupid. So points. why don't you pick it up and throw it then, oh, if you don't what like does it? it? Do? Because here's what I don't know. Why don't you do? go ahead and touch it? I, listen, I've go ahead, just touch it. it up. Pictures and pick up. It's not gonna set him on fire, and then after we establish, it's not gonna set him on fire. I'm going to piss on it, and then I'm going to bury it, and then snap it in half. But after you bury it, <laughs> yes, with my mage hand, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it under the ground. And it's gonna wait until I bury it, and then it's gonna grab it. I pick up the talisman. <laughs> yeah, I was about to. Okay, say. you pick up the talisman. It is warm to the touch. You feel that a latent <laughs> magic, not yet revealed, may lie within it. I put it inside the robe, I oh, oh, oh. the robe, and I put that in my satchel. Okay. Did you say Baba Booey? <laughs> <laughs> Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Baba Booey? Baba Booey. You find another little iron up there? <laughs> trying to activate it? <laughs> yes. No, we're not trying to activate our little irons. Oh, the word Baba and Booey do not seem to do anything. <laughs> Damn it. All right. So, I get the hell off the mountain, little clip top here. Oh, it what feels good to be able to fly. Wait, just leave whatever you want, dude. 
Yeah. Which one? Which one do you grab the rope? Hey. hey. I mean, first, it's Grandpa. down there. Probably just hold, jump hold right. It. Big tree, listen. On on a serious note, I know we've we may have been joyfully looting the corpses of a dead elephant and whatnot, but <laughs> it's important it's important to note that that robe probably bears important important relevance to the place that we're in. So I might recommend, unless you are wearing something that you are partially partial to, that you wear the robe instead, because I guarantee that it'll come in handy. You want me to put this robe on? I'll put it on if you don't. If you don't want it, I mean, it's pretty big and it won't fit on me, but it'll fit on you with your his stupid, sexy, muscular arms and limbs. I mean, Huckleberry, they're in love. I think it would look pretty <laughs> sexy. <laughs> you know, I kind of figured that they had something going on, but uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know call it I'm not, not, I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm just I running this in my head. Like, every like every time you back. told me to do something, I've almost died, but then again, I haven't. But yeah, that's right. These are calculated risks for the purpose of advancement. And you have to understand that fortune favors the bold. And that if you do not wear that robe, that perhaps there is something that may not fall upon your head in the future that makes you even more powerful than you currently are. I would like more knowledge. Or power. Or both. Or both. I put on the robe. The more... <laughs> Excellent, perfect. Now, I n n when, it, when we run to a mummy in the future and it doesn't punch you in the face, you'll think, damn, that scrumpo was right. He was so right about this. And How then, fabulous uh, is this robe, Arcadum? It, it's <laughs> Arcadum. How fabulous is the robe? Uh oh. Oh no. Is this F? Arcadum! Arcadum! It's true. How fabulous is the robe! But he might have gone to go pee. Oh. Arcadum! <laughs> How fabulous is the robe? <laughs> Hang on, let's see if my battle cry works now. <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> if your battle cry was a door closing, then yeah. yeah I was no, 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 no. I'm back. The car makes a battle cry. No? No, no. no. I'm back. <laughs> God damn it. Arcadum, how fabulous is the robe? Oh, uh, the robe <coughs> is made out of blue silk with a, uh, well, it, it's blue silk with oh, I'm wearing it silver, now, by the way. silver inlay, and it seems to have sapphires sewn into the cuffs. Ooh. You may have missed it, but I'm wearing it. Cool. You now look yeah. really good. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is actually perfect that Arcadum was AFK when, when Scrumpo described his reasoning for you, so... <laughs> We'll see if it comes in handy. <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all coming down anytime soon, or uh, you want us to leave you alone? Nah, shut yeah. up! We're not. No, nah. no, I am exclusively into it. I grab the rope and dwarven and or no, gnomish no, no. women that have no beard. Uh, no, I, I believe you. No, absolutely. Scrubbo okay. jumps. Scrubbo climbs down. <laughs> All right. Look. Oh wait! Oh no! Hold on. And he climbs back up. <laughs> I need to get the rope. And then. <laughs> Did we take the gold? I didn't, uh, did we take the gold? No, we, no, did, we you, did, did you say it while I was gone? Because I was no, waiting. Yeah, yeah. No. Nope. Scrumbo couldn't. takes the gold because he remembered miraculously. <laughs> he remembered miraculously that there was glittering gold ingots inside the sarcophagus. And then he yells, hold on. We forgot the gold. And then he starts tossing it down <laughs> to the sand to his comrade. Okay. Oh, oh. Six pound gold ingots thud <laughs> into the sand around you. <laughs> also, he grabs the 100 feet of rope and okay. then he uh, uh -huh. jump, jumps down <laughs> into the sand. <laughs> okay, you jump feet. 60 feet. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can, I, can I stop Radix. you from jumping? Okay, Scorpio stops at the edge. Okay, like, what? what do you want? What? What? You don't think I can do it? I can do it. I mean, I mean do you want me to catch it? I mean, it's it's you like catching a big, me. angry catch football. Hold on. All right. hold on, I got my hold on. Jump into my arms, Scrumpo. <laughs> I mean, if you want, you uh... <laughs> All right. I feel like Hux is the better choice here, but I'll, I'll no, I my mean, arms. Big tree. If you feel like this, show me you want to do that. Take a step. <laughs> take a step back, Huck. I got All this. All right. All right. I'm cheering you on, buddy. He ju he jumps up, Big Tree. Okay, couple of things here. Uh, <laughs> you're a regal horned satyr, so you know. There's that. Uh, second, I What's guess. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you have horns. <laughs> yeah. Um, on your head. Nope. Don't worry that no. 
<laughs> it's probably not an issue. Make me a... <laughs> Jesus. Make me a dexterity saving throw to catch Scrumpo, and please, dear God, do not roll a one. <laughs> oh my God. Kill, kill, kill me instantly, pierce my heart. Hey, aid him, Huckleberry. Help, help that man. Free, free me from this mortal coil. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Scrumpo. <laughs> hey guys, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Pop. Big tree, you missed him. <laughs> Scrumpo. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't take the full damage from falling because it is soft sand. However, you do take nine points of bludgeoning or uh, falling damage as you strike the sand. And Ow. not the uh, helpful hands of your ally. <laughs> hey, I tried, man. I, 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 I believed in you, and you weren't yeah. there when I needed you the most. I pick up, I pick him up from his fundoshi and put him back up normally. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I just realized we double applied the damage. So I'm sitting here trying to fucking. Oh, I'll heal you. I was about to do it. Okay. <laughs> we almost double healed. All right, all right. I'll Thank just you. let you guys damage and heal yourself since you're good on using your macros because uh, I don't know, a lot of stream groups don't. So I just end up doing it for them. There you go. I tried to do that. Hurt yourself. I'll do it. I'll do it. I got okay, it. Okay, you got it. You got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. okay, there we go. All right. now it's hey, our... Thank you so much, Big Tree. Hey, nice try. Uh, maybe work on your receiving, but apart from that, we're good. I'm not dead. You're not dead. Everyone else not dead. And we I just, look we fabulous. Just, you look fabulous. Uh, the, it, it definitely offends the spirits that it probably inhabit this place. We've got the good thing. Three, three, yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. 100%. In fact, if I we, if I knew we were in a rush, I would have definitely pissed on that sarcophagus up there. But we got three gold. We can go back up there and give it a quick piss. Hold on. First, let's establish that the centaur clip clop is definitely going to be holding these gold ingots and that we as a group need to proceed carefully. Ho hold on real quick. You can flew, I, can you I flew hear like, him saying this? You flew like over there at hard. <laughs> Did you like stop and want to investigate that or? Yeah, I was kind of checking this out over here. Oh. Okay. Uh oh. Do you speak Elvish? No. We already established that none of us do. I, no, I know, but no I, have to, I have to check my boxes. You do not speak Elvish. All right. You uh, on top of this um, ten foot rocky incline, there is a stone tablet with Elven inscriptions on the top of it. However, there is something you recognize in the center. There, in, in this area right here, in the center of that circle. There is a diamond. Oh. Hey, where'd the bird go? Hey. Come here. Hey, big bird. Where are you? I'm up on this sort of uh, outcropping. I seem to have found a diamond of sorts. Ooh. Hey, I wouldn't. I, actually, don't touch it. I, wait, 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 I whoa, don't whoa, whoa, feel whoa. like I should take advice, but. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Nothing bad has happened to just touch it so far. Didn't they say I mean, not would you like, touch would you like to I, touch it? I mean, it's no, you're right, there. So can walk I'm up here. There. You touch it. Well, <laughs> all right. All right, then. Well, I, you only live once, as they say. I, I grabbed the they diamond. They do say that. I remember them saying that. Okay. You grab the diamond. He's so dead. <laughs> Where'd he go? It's all right. I'm a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are, buddy. <laughs> As you pull the diamond free of the stone tablet, it cracks in twain. I now have two diamonds. No, 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 no. no the, 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 the tablet. The tablet oh, oh, breaks. The, the tablet oh, breaks. I now have two tablets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that got me. <laughs> I now have two diamonds. No, no, I meant the tablet. I now have two tablets. <laughs> Well, that's twice the tablet. God, I love D&D. &D. All right. <laughs> yes, okay, so now you have the diamond in your possession. It is a diamond that is valued at 1,000 gold pieces. Holy cannoli. And that is important because that is a powerful material component for spells. <laughs> Got it. Is, that's that like... Fun. What else are we going to do? That's well, spells that we don't have. <laughs> um, can I right. actually... Uh, what what were the things um 
sorry, over here that we passed by. These, like, little stone structures that we walked by? Uh, that appears to be just a stone piece of, like, a pillar. Oh, okay. And okay. that's just, like, natural stone. No, no, no. And then this, these down here, these are just, like, ruins sort of thing? And this is more walls and pillars that, are, that seem oh. to kind of be sticking up out of the sand. It, okay, I will well, tell you that it looks like the there's more underneath the sand, I don't want it to possibly get leading to more of a complex, but for right now, it's just pillars. Well, all right. Uh. Um, now, now, hang on, I'm going to walk over back here to the group. Now, I don't know what you're thinking. We got this big old stone uh, platform here and let me tell you i'm not stepping on this all right i don't want any more mummies or you have daddies. to fulfill the prophecy yeah. i know <laughs> put the diamond on it uh, no, that's, that's my diamond i'm not <laughs> oh, that's good one. but no <laughs> that's, all right that's my diamond <laughs> so what are we tr what's our objective we need to go deeper we need to go deeper we need to we need to get there and then we need uh. to the pursuit of knowledge must not be stopped. Oh, right. Right. That was it. I, I almost forgot. I ain't Let's pursued stop. knowledge my whole life, and I did just fine. <laughs> we must continue oh, as on, a party. <laughs> I walked on the I walked onto the first circle with you. Come with me, Uck. We will walk <sighs> together. All right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. Um, so. Is the actual start of the circle here at the edge? It's here. It's there? Yeah. Okay. All right. On three. One, One two, two, three. Three. And then I'll jump onto the... Mother oh, my God! God! <laughs> <laughs> Jabated. Oh, oh, man. You didn't jump with me! <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, we made it! Wait, where'd you go? That, that is a oh, classic. That is a classic. You are doing great. Okay. Confidence. That's what I like to see, Huck. <clears throat> Huck. Yes. <clears throat> As your centaur hooves uh, slip slap on top of the uh, ancient marble, you find mm -hmm. yourself standing in the sunlight. The strange scarab carving in the uh, floor of the structure is very ornate, more ornate than the rest of the surrounding buildings. And even though you cannot read Elvish, you do recognize something. There is a handle in this part of the stone. Like, like just a handle? Like, um, how can I describe this? Like, like a handle for a plunger? Like you could pull something up. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. But nothing actually happens to the stone? LOL. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Uh, well, look, nothing happened. Thank you very much for having my back, Big Tree. Appreciate that. No problem. It's what I'm here yeah. for. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> so what's over here? <laughs> well, I uh, found, a, found a handle over here. Looks like a... Well, we got a handle on the situation. But, uh... Oh, that's good. <laughs> he, sort of, he sort of taps his temple and points it at Icar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh... Hey, you coming, guy? Uh, in in the sun. <laughs> yes, the sun that we walked through to get we here. We walked the whole bloody way it, here. Is it, it is it absolutely necessary? I grab guy's hand. <laughs> Ooh, and so full. <laughs> <laughs> so bold. Are you happy to see me, or is that a thieves tool? I drag <laughs> him into the light. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I take out my umbrella and pop it open. You gonna be all right there, guy? I do declare. Sure. We're very obviously all in this together. And yeah, well, well, that's a nice sentiment you got there. All right, so there's a handle here. Looks like we should pull it. Yeah, I mean, clearly this is an elevator. We're gonna go down. Well, I mean, or alternately, the floor's gonna crack, collapse. Well, we either all die or we go down a level. That's right. That's what. That's the kind of team building I like to see. Listen. Well, I can fly, but uh, have a good, have a good show, chaps. You need to die would with you, us. Would you Hold perhaps, you would you perhaps like me us. to pull the lever? Wait, you pull the lever? Or... While flying Wait. so that in case something does drop off. I on. fear nothing. Well, then I <laughs> also I click the lever. <laughs> oh, my God. Well. Oh, man. I hover. 
<laughs> oh, I, I know. I know you're flying. <laughs> you, you, made it, you made it very clear what they could have done and chose not to do. <laughs> people, like, people always tell me, okay, how do you deal with flying characters so overpowered? I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> that <laughs> shit will happen. <laughs> I have no fear. Like, all right. <laughs> As you pull the plunger, something does happen. All right. Um, now we're going to see if I can show off my production value. <gasps> bam, bam, bam. Hello. All right, as the, uh, there it is. Where is it? There it is, okay. As you pull the plunger, something far above you begins to rumble. Hidden within the cavernous opening, it is revealed that perhaps the hole in the ceiling was not evidence of erosion, but rather through ancient architectural meaning. Because coming through a, a very large slit at the top, a strange piece of glass begins to move over the opening. As the sun pours down, it takes over a new color of light. Oh, uh, what's going on? Ooh. All right, and... I wish I knew. Ooh. You guys see this. Oh man, that looks great. Okay. It burns! <laughs> blue. A blue light. Oh, well, it's actually uh, quite nice. Mimicking that of moonlight etches the scarab's form. And as this happens, you feel a power enter the room. Uh oh. Uh oh. Energies begin to swirl around the center. Of the scarab. Uh. Until. Up. <laughs> I offered! And then you see this. Whoa. Uh, uh. What, what is. What is that? Well. He, he looks quite friendly. The Throw the diamond at him. The creature in the center. <laughs> Throw the diamond at him. The creature in the center of the room appears to be a spirit of some kind, manifest mm -hmm. uh, manifesting in such a way as to be a flaming ember-filled skull. Oh? The creature looks around with empty eyes as if searching for something until finally it begins to focus on each one of you. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, howdy. Uh, well. Well, don't be shy. Go, go say hi, guy. And the, I give him the open mouth smile. And then <laughs> the creature will speak. Das dun en enetekt vin aner ratin in aronanas ealatot ekanetet Hold on, stop. You need to speak common. <laughs> none, none of us speak Elvish. I think he said Ananas. Isn't that pineapple? Yeah, I, I, I believe I, it is pineapple. Yeah, but I do like pineapple. <laughs> Me too. Oh, oh my He wants God. the diamond. But common. Or under common. Denos en ect. Bis onanat. Enos en vinonat. E tu. Blah, blah, blah. It's <laughs> on the eye to the man nest. Eretect. Idago. The talisman. Who has the talisman? I do. It begins to glow. <laughs> I hold the talisman out to the spirit. It continues to glow brighter and brighter and brighter. Until finally... It blows your hand off. You're now a cripple. <laughs> Hold yeah, on. It's okay, I only need one hand. Give me just a second. <laughs> I forgot to add its hand out, and I needed to adjust that real quick. All right. 
tactical screen hide. That was perfect. Damn it. Still not... Okay, hold on. It's it's bothering me. Fix it! Okay, fix now it's fix it. Now it's fix it. There you go. Now you guys can see him. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ooh. Ooh. The token will I begin. Feel like I've seen this picture before. I have too. I feel like, I feel like I've seen it. Actually, Moon Moon, you have. I knew it. I mean, that means Star has seen it as well. Then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the creature. Oh my God! Wait, this is the from the crow guy, right? From our campaign. I'm oh, sorry. It's, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. I'm freaking out. All right. The talisman will begin to glow brighter and brighter until finally, this happens. Eternal tenotect. East on the Do you understand me? Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, I, hey. That's the right oh, frequency. That last part. Does he only understand? Got it. Does, is Big Tree the only one? Yeah, am I the only one that hears him? You're the only one that understands him. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, hey, yeah. Now I can hear you. It would seem that you have some magic in you yet. Very well. Come closer, Sator. <laughs> Wait. I get very awkwardly close. <laughs> the creature is not put off. It will place a hand upon your forehead and it will say, We cannot abide such ignorance. <laughs> you now know Elvin. Ah, hooray! Oh, wow. Wow, I... <laughs> that was very loud, but cool. I can't control it. That was not loud. It was loud for me, but yeah, he's good. Wow, I... Hey. Wow, some of these words. Now I know why Scrumpo hates it. Oh my god, yeah. I can definitely tell you're speaking Elvis right now. You should be ashamed of yourself, but also... Thank you, because I bet this thing is probably mad that you don't speak it, so... I do not understand what the small one is saying. Scrumpo uh, I, I, makes I, a rude I'm, gesture I'm at speaking, the spirit. <laughs> I speak in Elvish to, uh, to him, and I say, uh... He does not like uh, elves <laughs> at all. He's horribly, oh, no. horribly racist. Such a Scrumpo thing. Is, Scrumpo is dancing from foot to foot with his middle fingers out. <laughs> Such a thing is understandable from the lesser races. <laughs> I, no. I, I, I move over, or I look at Scrumpo and say, He understands you. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Wow, I could care less. <laughs> he continues dancing. Now, I did not expect that the ones that would raise me from my sleep would be ones such as yourselves. But it would appear that beggars cannot be choosers. I mean, who were you expecting? <laughs> I suppose I was yeah, expecting an archaeologist of my own kind. But perhaps not. Yeah, no, we were kind of sent here by some guy. Very well. Just some random dude. <laughs> Bring your comrades closer to me that I might gift I... them with the divinity, a divinity of my language. I don't think the small one will like that, but hey, I got an idea. Hey, Scrumpo! What? A little closer. All right, fine. But you know what? If I... If, I, if he I even... I hold Scrumpo touch. still. All right. I will touch the Scrumpo's forehead. Scrumpo's <laughs> mind is filled with the uh, disgusting elven language. <laughs> oh my god, no! I can feel it permeating my essence. On oh, God, Cretton, what have you done to my friend? <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. Come here, come here. Hey, let, let him uh, do you approach with your open mouth smile? Yep, big open mouth smile. <laughs> All right, here, have some free knowledge. Boom, elven language. Guy, bam, elven language. Oh, my God, he's handing out free languages. Wait, do you know Orc? I always wanted to learn Orc. Oh. My God. Okay. Hey, sir. This, fucking, this is marvelous. Fucking crowding him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Space, what make a line. Okay? I'm sorry. I'll back up. I'll back up over here. 
<laughs> just, what, are we, what am I? What am I doing here? What? What? what, what Kiss on the lips. Oh well, I gotta give him a smooch. Well, uh, no, right. no, 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 up. no, he's got to. Oh, come on, don't be right, 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 right. That's what you've got oh, to do. Oh no, her up. I, I, I hook her up. Huckleberry, yeah. he does yeah. not, in fact, kiss you, and <laughs> fills you with a single tap on the head. Oh, whoa. with the elvish <sighs> language. I ain't never kissed you like that before, but I don't know much about elves, so, uh, well, thank you, I, I guess. He he sort of bows. No, <laughs> we blushing may slightly. properly. Regardless of who you may be, you are the ones to have activated the seal. And thus, the prophecy has chosen you. So be it. I am the spirit below, and it is my duty to guide you on your path. For the crowns rent in twain must be made whole again, and only those that break the seal can find them. Oh, you mean like this piece? I hold out the crown piece. The creature nods, unsurprised, as if... The, pre the presentation of the crown piece is merely a confirmation of the prophecy. It will reach out its hand. Please. I, 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 I give him the crown piece. As he takes the crown piece from you, it will begin to shift and change and clean itself until he represents it to you as a glowing sapphire. It seems that you have the first piece of one of the Shattered Crowns. So be it. It is How my many purpose. Are there? there are many, and it is my purpose to guide you. I mean, many, you. Like, like five, six, seven, eight, like how many? My purpose is twofold. To guide you and to test you. First, there shall be the test. Slay the ancient guardian of this place, and you will have proved yourselves to be worthy inheritors. Fail, and your bones will serve the elven lords. Prepare yourselves. Uh, wait, what, 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 uh, what, uh, wait, what's I, happening? Wait. What's happening? I take it this isn't an optional thing? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. But you may prepare yourselves. Inform me when you are ready. Oh, wait, we got... We got time? Oh, that's not, that sounds optional. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, uh... Excuse me, uh, Spirit, mind if I ask you a question? Speak, Quadruped. Uh, well, uh... Uh, you know anything about strange dreams? Like, uh... Flaming sword dreams? Is that like a thing related to any sort of mystical prophecy? A you know, flaming subjugate? sword? Yeah, yeah. You speak of one of the shattered crowns, of one of the oh. ephemeral lords, one of the scarabs unbound to be risen into the sands. Whoa, whoa okay. Uh, well, uh, mean anything if I'm uh, seeing that a lot? Dreams and such? It could only mean one thing. And what would that be? That your path is already chosen. Curious. Oh. But the one that would take the scorched crown is... so strange a creature. Oh, well, excuse me, sir. I'm I mean... sorry. Clip Clop is yeah. a perfectly acceptable person that exists. Says this the giant all... flaming fucking skeleton. Yeah, come really? on. I mean, even, come on. Even, you don't even got skin. You know, I, I kind of, I kind of agree with with Scrumpo now. The elves are kind of racist. <laughs> I, I told all of you, you didn't believe me. This you know, guy's wait, evidence. Wait, hold on. He's making him a king. Yeah, what you said? Think about I, I it. it. I don't. I think he's doing it out of necessity, not because he wants to. He's all not right. doing it out of Listen. spite. I'll tell you something. All right, we can handle anything you can throw at us. I promise you that. 
All right. Well, when he says that, I'm just going to go ahead and just like mage armor and false life myself. Just just also doing both ma- of those. Also mage armoring. <laughs> Very well. We shall see your strength. And it will raise its hand. Place its fingers oh. together. Are you prepared? I mean, yeah. I mean, are, are we prepared? Or are we... Very well. Could I get what? that magic yes. wand, maybe? <laughs> All right. Wait, you want? All the time for mercy has passed. All right, everyone freeze where you are. I'm snapping you to grid. Oh, dear. I'm already snapped. I'm going to go pee real quick. All right. <laughs> Don't forget <laughs> I have a plus great. five to my initiative. Okay, here, bye. Bye. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, give me just a second. Just one, a two, a three, three and a half. Two, two and a half. Two and a half? You two give, and three quarters. You give blood? I give blood. <laughs> give me, give me your blood! <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had to wait for Moon Moon to get back. <clears throat> Khajiit has blood if you have coin? Khajiit have blood if you have ritual stone, yes. <laughs> In the meantime... I, the, I just want to say I love this campaign so far. <laughs> Yeah, this is really good. It's going pretty good. I was glad the blue light worked out. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it looks nice. I was, yeah. to, I was worried it clash with the natural light there, but it looks really good. I'm back. Very well. All right. Oh, got him first. Oh, no, no, not quite. I haven't rolled yet. Okay. Is that the old initiative roll? Yeah. <laughs> With the mummies removed. So I got confused. All right. And rolling. Scrumpo, you have a plus five. Yeah. Uh, three from Dex and then two from my background. Okay. Five. Adjusted. Sorted. And I rolled poorly. Okay. So this is what happens there is a rumbling of sand and stone coming from this area. The entire cavern shakes under the great weight of some unseen creature until finally it reveals itself. All right, here we go. Now I'm back. Hey, you're just in time. To die. (laughs) To die. Ah, fuck. (laughs) It's time to reveal the the big (laughs) enemy. All right, here we go. And this creature rises from the sands. Oh. <laughs> An enormous scarab appears from the sands. Whoa. With a great horn. It's stopping. How did Scrumpo's mom get in here? <laughs> hey, yikes. All right. And the time for mercy has passed. And so, it shall begin. Wow, it rolled like shit. Okay. Huckleberry, you gain initiative. Ooh, oh boy. Okay, um... I guess, uh... I think I will move well. (laughs) Okay, <laughs> I'm going. I'm going in. Uh, five, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty-five. Okay, if I go here, can I still reach it? Negative, because I have forty-five movement and I have ten foot reach. Oh, uh, if you have reached, then you're good. Yeah, because I've got a halberd. Yep. Okay, so I will charge, and as I'm charging, I will uh bring up big iron and go for a swipe at the the ten foot reach. 
Okay, so, uh, hang on, halberd. All right, you charge forward, your halberd lowered, and you slam into the creature's thick hide. Ugh. Um, okay, and For five I have damage. The, I have the charger feet, so I think I add extra damage. That's another five I... damage. Yes, okay, cool. Um, and I will also... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do a menacing attack on him. Oh. So he has to, uh, I believe, make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. When you hit a creature with a web attack, spend one superiority dice. Uh, they may have to make a wisdom saving throw. And if he fails, he's afraid of me. <laughs> ah, damn it! <laughs> okay. But he I, ain't you know, scared of shit. Nah, he's not. He's not afraid of me. I, I give him a really, I give him a, but he's that's it. Just it didn't do it. It's a scarab. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I still do add an additional d8 because of the because I spent the dice on it anyway. Okay, d8. Two. So he takes another two. All right. All right. How do you like that? <laughs> Scrumpo. Uh, Scrumpo, with his tiny, stubby-ass legs, is... For, <laughs> what kind of action is switching my weapon? Because right now he's holding his rapier, Item I assume. interaction. Uh, so is that it's, its, a, its own action? It's basically its own action, yep. Okay, so I'm going to switch to my short bow. Okay. And what is the range of short bow? Uh, it is 60 feet without any penalty, and then beyond that, it's disadvantage. Okay, there you go. Uh, I'm going to shoot my short bow at this... Well, actually, hang on. What kind of action... Oh, I get to take a, a bonus action to hide myself uh, as part of my class. Yep. And it's cunning action, so I'm going to roll now in an attempt to hide myself in the beam of light. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's gonna to lay down and he's going to go prone over one of the, the humps of sand. And uh, that's stealth, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> The creature still sees you. <laughs> okay, and he, shoot, he shoots out the, the giant uh, scarab regardless. Uh, and that is a d6 plus, or d20 plus 5. I made and a macro for you. With my short bow? Yeah, I made all your macros, man. Oh, I see it. Here you go. Boom. He shoots at it. Pink. He messes. <laughs> oh, God, this is awful. I can't believe this is happening. That's my turn. Why are you trying to hide in a giant beam of light? Guy, <laughs> what do you got for me? I have a warrior spirit. <laughs> I can get to here and, and chuck a dagger at it. The dagger pierces the creature's hide. Your warrior spirit guiding it through. Aha! Mm. Big tree. All right, hold on. I got to see. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah. How, how far away would you say um, from here to here is? Like, uh, is, that is that 20 is feet? 25. Unfortunate. Still going to do it anyway. Because it'll work for a turn. I am going to use web on him. In his general area. That? that will work. You got it. All he right. is not web. Alrighty. Let me see. Web, web, web. Shut up, Siri. Uh, he has to make a strength check against my spell save DC. Or he's restrained. All right, let's do that. What is it? Fourteen. Fuck. Unfortunate. <laughs> I think it still uses this turn, though. I think. Not if I'm not restrained. Also, it, it won't matter. 
<laughs> oh, darn. Uh, anyway, is that it for you? That 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 was my action. Hey, car. All right. Uh, I'm gonna fly right here. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that appears within 60 feet. I don't think that's within range of him. I can't count. Spiritual Weapon is actually just, just within reach of him. Okay, so I'm summoning a Spiritual Weapon. It is in the shape of a mug. A big glowing tankard <laughs> of ale. Uh, and I will attack with it. Uh, okay. Let's see. That'll work. Oh, not. Hold on. That's a gif, apparently. Trying to get you a mug here. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Do I have ownership? Soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see it. It's a mug of justice. I love oh, it. Mug of justice. You got it. Oh, nice. Size. All right, there you go. Now you should have ownership. You can move it over there. Great. I rolled the attack already, so it's D8 plus uh, spellcasting modifier. All right. The mug will slap against the gigantic scarab and will miss. It's hide too thick. Your your drink not heavy enough, it would seem. <laughs> Anything but else? Why? I mean, did it did it miss? Uh, it missed his AC. Armor class denotes whether or not it hits. A fifteen is not sufficient to uh, hit its AC. AC can be. I didn't. I didn't roll the attack. Oh, you didn't. Oh. No, sorry. I think oh, I skipped okay. a step. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to roll to I, actually I, I rolled hit damage. me first. I didn't roll. I didn't yeah, you got to roll to hit me first. Sorry. That's just D20, right? Good luck. Is it D20? <laughs> well, it's a D20 plus your casting stat and all that, but a four is pretty poor, so. Okay, great. Gonna well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my bonus action to attack again. Okay. Um. That's a seven, uh, okay, I think you add your proficiency. I'm pretty sure you do. But I'm going to go check just to make sure. <clears throat> Spirit. Weapon. Is casting spiritual weapon a bonus action? That's really good. It is. No, casting it's my action, but I, I gain a bonus action with which I can attack again or move it. No, 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 no. The casting time is a bonus action. Oh, my bad. Okay, so I couldn't I couldn't do what I just did then. Yeah. Right? Well, you can attack with another weapon of yours with your actual attack action, though. You can so still have like a crossbow. Yeah, action, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll pop out my crossbow, fire off a shot. Yeah. So you could have done that, but you still rolled a four, which, or, uh, right. you know, so that sucked. But the 14 counts for your crossbow, which you have a, you have a setting for that, which I think that will still miss, unfortunately, because you don't have much dex. It's a plus four. So plus actually, fourteen plus four. Fourteen plus four is plus eighteen. That's enough. So roll. Uh, just roll your crossbow attack for me. I have a macro for you on there set up for you. Oh jeez. Damage. Okay, no, so click on your token, and then you'll see where it says active. Go to light crossbow and just click that for me. I'll handle the rest. There you go. Got Ten it. damage. Jeez, you hit him right in the eye. Heck yeah. <laughs> Okay. Battle cleric. Hi, Burrow. Good luck. Oh, what? no. Wait, what? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> He's a scared little bitch. Hey, Where'd you right, go? Get out of here. Hi. Oh! No, my. That's me. <laughs> All right, it will horn the shit out of Guy, and we'll miss. Finish its uh -huh. movement here, 
and it will horn the shit out of Big Tree. You can't out for 14 damage. Oh, and then I know I have eight temp already. Well, that'll automatically be calculated when you damage yourself. Oh well, okay. Yep, and then. And then as a bonus action, it will ground pound. All enemies within 20 feet make me a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone. Oh, dear. But Scrumpo's okay. already prone. <laughs> On purpose. He I'm not is, agreeing, actually. Right? I'm also flying, but... And uh, I see people asking in chat, its burrow movement does not provoke. Hmm. Alrighty. The DC of that ability should it be on there. Oh no, it's not. It's 15. Oi. Yeah. Let me put that on there. You said 15? Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Anyone knocks prone? Yeah, me. Yep. I it? stand. Oh, whoa! On his back. Roll. Oh. You had to get to 15. Okay. Well, I am also prone, though. Okay. So you're just prone anyway. <laughs> I'm good. still on the ground. Huckleberry. Yeah. Uh, if I stand up, that halves my movement, correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, is, does that count as an action or a move? Is that just part of my move That's to get That's part up? of your movement. It's a movement tax. Okay, then I'll, I'll just get up and then shift. Uh, so I will unprone, I guess. I'll hop up. I mean, as best I can. I am a quadruped. Um, oh, hold on, let me let me make let me stand you up. There you go. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then I can hit him from here, right? Because of reach. Yeah. Or do I have? Yeah, okay. You're good. You can uh, hit him there. Then I will swing at him again with my halberd one more time. Hey, over here, you big ugly beetle! <laughs> nice. Moon, what's your uh hold on. I think your property is broken. What's wrong? Uh you would have made that save. No, I only have a plus three to my dex. Yeah, but it's supposed to be adding It's supposed to be adding your proficiency because well. that's one of your saves. So that's supposed oh, yeah. to be five. I'm not sure why it's not adding that. Probably because okay, I gave you the character sheet an hour before we started. All right, I have to, I'll have to keep an eye on that. I mean, okay. he was prone anyway, so. so. Well, yeah, well, but it's, I, was, it's, I was flavor text prone. It means, his, it means his macro is off here. I'm just going to stand you up. All right. Thanks. Uh, that's going to be 11 damage. Uh, and once again, I will attempt to menacing attack him by scowling very evilly at him. Uh, so he has to make oh, a I know save. why. It's because he used a dexterity check instead of a saving throw. Oh yeah. Okay, nope, that that's is, that that's is why true. that happened. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I yeah. Did, I did click that. I also okay. have advantage on a. Uh, wait, no, I don't. That's not magic. Never mind. All right, Excuse Huck, me, everybody. All right, Huck. Huck, that's a big <laughs> load of damage right there, Scrumpo. What do you got for me? Oh, uh, I, I did. Wait, I did menacing attack on him again. Oh, you did. With one okay, my, go ahead. Yeah, roll yeah, again. Yeah, so uh, he has to make a wisdom save. Uh, but I'll do the damage anyway, because regardless, I'll do another one damage. <laughs> ah, yeah, he he passes. Or, yeah. So how does a uh, sneak attack work with ranged weapons? It just does, as long as there's a uh, enemy adjacent to them. Okay. Well, uh, I shoot that motherfucker. Scrub a skirt <laughs> waddle, waddles to at distance. <laughs> And then draws back and fires. And misses. <laughs> but you almost hit me. Watch where you're aiming. Feels Roll incredibly bad. That's my turn. I got nothing else. Guy. Eat my son! Woo. That's nice. A, that's a big sword eat. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah. Do you want to add to that? Uh, want to run a lap around him? He's running. He's all right. He's taking a lap. <laughs> Big tree. All right. 
Let's try... Let's try something new. I'm gonna call upon the necromancy that I just learned. Hit it with Ray of Sickness. Okay. Ray Which... of Sickness time, baby. And... How do I... Yeah! Ooh -hoo. All right, that'll hit him. Oh, that, that hits him. Yep, 2d8 poison damage. <laughs> Ooh. All right, EP okay. as well. Now make uh, a con He also saving throw. has to make a mm -hmm. constitution saving throw or he's poisoned. I am not poisoned. But he I is not take poisoned. a lot of damage. But that definitely hurt him. He's not looking good. And, and yeah, that's my turn. Car, the brave. Cool. Quick rules question. Yep. What's proficiency bonus so versus... Profi so yeah. proficiency bonus is something that's added whenever you are good at something. Uh, most of it is automatically calculated in your token as long as all the correct buttons are pressed and it's calculated in the macros that I made for you. So I made a macro for spiritual weapon and it says add your spell casting modifier and your proficiency bonus to the attack roll. So that's a d20 plus your casting modifier which is plus three. Which is three. And then proficiency bonus which is plus two at your current level. Plus two. Mm -hmm. So plus five total. Okay. Sweet. All right. Uh, the mug of questionable justice is going to move over there. There's mm -hmm. a bonus action first. And I'm going to do that thing and see if I actually know how to write macros. Ready? Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let's look. Almost. Brackets at Close. the end there. That's a parenthesis, not a bracket. Yep. Got it. But he's so close, though. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, but he missed anyway, be, uh, right? With the twelve, so I don't need to. Correct. Yeah. I'll do that next time. But you can shoot um, me with your crossbow. It's happening. Here we go. Bird with a crossbow. Oh no! Oh, shit. Pink, pink, pink. Wow. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant fucking sparrow. How do you miss? Oh yeah, that's Look, right. Look, I'm eh? quite old. I'm quite old. <laughs> All right, the Guardian is going to, as a bonus action, Meteor Strike. Let's pound and ground. Oh, God. Great. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, a metal remix of Dancing Mad is playing right now, and I am so into this. Not today. Yeah. Uh, this is Dex save. No. <laughs> no. The answer is no, I needs don't. Me, I'll be on the ground. Huckleberry, yeah. use all your legs. Look, I'm trying. I got four of them. Delgaroth is going to use its horn to uh, murder. <laughs> you can't touch me. Oh shit. Uh, my bells. You got? You got anything for that? No. <laughs> all right, Delgaroth will then attack Big Tree. You can't- oh, fuck. Ow. That hurt. That's painful. Bye. <laughs> Dead lol. Hey. Oi. Oh. How's it going? I have 16 AC. Please do me gently, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a virgin. <clears throat> Huckleberry. All right. I will stand, and I will whip out little iron. Oh, Ooh. no. And I will point little iron at this can't, overgrown can't bed it. bug. Is, is Huckleberry tactical mastermind? And I will say, all right, little iron. <laughs> Baba Booey. <laughs> 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 As you enact your will upon the wand. And yell, Baba Booey. <laughs> Magic missiles will fire out from the wand, dealing. Very well. <laughs> Enough damage. Oh, Magic yeah, missiles will it. explode no, it, it against the creature's hit. back. Its chitin carapace will be broken in twain from the Magic Missile's force. It will stumble uh -huh. forward, its insides exposed, spraying out all over Scrumpo. <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst! And then, with its last pitiful cry. 
It will fall to the ground defeated. Well done. What? That's uh, it? Huck will I take bested little... him without a scratch. Uh, <laughs> Huck, Huck will take a little iron and, and blow the smoke off the tip and then twirl it around and then put like it a in a gunslinger. His, in the cool, dude. Yeah. Oh. oh, you picked up on it. I'm glad. Yeah, we got to get, he... uh, get you a holster, dude. A holster for little iron. Well, good job, little iron. Scrumbo I knew giving did... that to you was a good idea. Yeah, what can I did, say? did zero damage to this guy. <laughs> That was good, man. Good job, Scrumpo! Alright. As the beast lies uh, in ruins, destroyed on the ground, great pools of blood will eke out from it and will pool in the sands. And this creature will be resummoned. Nice challenge. You know, honestly, I think I get it. I think I understand why you guys think you're so freaking great and that's because you think that you're dealing Rumble, with you didn't do anything it doesn't matter you know what i'm the one who decided to give him that one and you know what i'm the one who's brought us this far by disarming these traps and by deliberating it doesn't matter what i did it, it, it everything i have is... a giant wound in the side of my chest and i'm very sorry that you acquired that wound but i think we can all come together and, uh, and, and deliberating that the elves have an undeserved sense of arrogance when it comes to things like this. And he points at right. the, the husk of the scarab. You are pathetic. If this is all that you've got, honestly, I am not at all worried for my life any more than I was when I stepped through that fucking arch. It would seem that you have successfully completed the trial. Yeah, gee, You have you. my congratulations. Please, be no longer suffering. Everyone is fully healed. Oh, wow. Oh. Hooray! I is mean, that long rest, or just everybody's fully healed? Fully healed. Okay, cool. Everybody? Everyone, Everybody. including Even you. people <laughs> did nothing? <laughs> and then the creature will speak. You have done well, and thus, the second purpose. <gasps> I shall guide you with the words of my masters. Listen well. <clears throat> that means write this down. Oh, okay. I, 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 will, I will write this down. I have a notes tab that I've been keeping track of literally everything. All right, uh, I'm still new to XLR. Does this sound kind of ghosty and kind of spooky oh yeah that's great man yeah yeah okay. definitely all right really really well done all right this is what you hear power will begin to emanate outwards from the spirit as it raises its hands illusionary uh rifts will kind of swirl through the sands as you see what the temple must have looked like all those years ago verandas of beautiful greenery Elegant flowers, finery, wine, and all manner of opulence and power within the realm. Opulence and power. There are five individuals that wear crowns upon their heads, the visages of them covered in wreathed shadow. And one by one, they will be named. As the spirit below recites, his master's words. There are five that rise. The bane of man awaits. The scorched king watches. The heretic speaks. The star caller guides. The lord of waters weeps. The crowns lie shattered, awaiting to be reclaimed. Have you the courage? Then claim the scepter. And with that, the spirit disappears. And there, floating in its place, is a scepter of gold and platinum. And atop it, a glowing topaz. I look at it very intently. 
Can I examine it before touching it? Of course. Yeah. I'm an archon of that, maybe. Same. Ditto. Yeah. I'm just going to admire it because it's very pretty. All right. With your sufficient rolls, this is what you know. This scepter, although it has no inherent magical abilities, it does represent something very specific. This scepter is a key. A key to open the tombs of the Scarab Lords. It is the key of Delgaroth. And I'll type that name out for you. This is the name of the Scarab. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, it we is. Did, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I grabbed the key. As you take the key from its place, slowly, the glass above will move away. The sun returns. Whoa. And the tomb is silent. <laughs> well, uh, did we, is that it? Did, uh, did we do it? I think so. Do, do what? Do what exactly? What do you think we just did? I don't. Well, if we're talking about you, then the answer is nothing. Well, you need to understand that my expertise is lended in other ways. You did lay down quite comfortably at the beginning of the fight. I laid down and I drew the creature's ire, but you're discounting everything else that I provided my guidance. Now, on. Now, I mean, no, 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 no. He, he's got a point. He's got a point. Earlier. Before we got here, he definitely did get Guy almost cut in half. We have to give him props for that. That's true. Yeah, that is true. And me too. You all doubt my influence and my suggestion. And you almost got me well. killed with ne necrotic power. Okay, so then, all right, Big Tree, fine. Tell us what we need to do right now. Tell me what we do with that scepter you just picked up. That's right. You're... F you I don't know. are idiots! All of well, you! Well, now, I mean, I read a book once. I don't think I'm an idiot. It doesn't have to do uh, with books. It has to do with the stupid rituals that these uh, idiots carry out. Even after death, we're being beholden to their stupid elven rituals. I, I know what we're supposed to do. What? Well, what are we supposed to do, guy? Get our goddamn money. Oh, yeah, I like right. you. Right. What? <laughs> what? Is that what we're here for? Is this scepter? Is that what we're? Is that what the guy's gonna give us some money for? Well, we cleared oh, the I whole sell, temple. I ain't selling no, this we didn't. To him. This no, we're not the... selling it. We're, we're just getting. We're supposed to be paid for this. Hold on. Actually, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yes, Actually, yes. We, we we could go back and we get. We In get fact, I'm pretty sure I... he explicitly said, "Don't take anything." But wait, okay. yeah, didn't he say don't touch anything? No, we, we cleared the guardian, right? This this thing is clearly the guardian. But we, we had to touch this to make it safe. We got robbed by that guy. He's trying to rob us. We need to go deeper. We need to use the scepter as a key in order to unlock further holes of this place. If we go back now, you need to understand we have synergy, right? And if we go back now, we're admitting defeat. We need to go deeper we need to forget the guy in mirage and we need to go deeper and take whatever we can and get yeah. out and make like bandits H huck leans into a car and goes is he gonna be okay i'm not quite sure yeah i'm a little worried about him uh well uh i noticed the cup hey about is it. there anything in this cup uh uh don't don't touch that you think, uh, think about it. Hold on, Leave no, mug stop. Of justice I, uh, and matter of fact, I, I unsummon the uh, okay. mug of questionable the, justice. The, the mug thousand, of questionable justice he, goes on he, break. He offered us a thousand gold pieces. One thousand. You think what we've done just now is worth one thousand gold pieces? Do you really? I mean, I thought it was agreed upon. It doesn't matter what he thinks. We can kill that guy when we go back to Mirage. I mean, technically, it's, I mean, when you think, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. You're just talking about committing a murder. If he, if he gets, if he gets up and he decides to come after us for not completing his mission, then yes, we could kill that guy. I'm not saying to go kill him in his sleep for no reason. It doesn't matter. I think we should for go. For no reason. Then where, be a way. what do you want to do? Start digging through the sand? No, there, there has to be something in here we can stick that separator into. That's how these things work. Yeah, you seem to know a lot about it. this. And you know what? 
despite the fact that you've almost gotten us killed probably three times now, you haven't been wrong. Uh, That's right. We, we can read Elvin now. Maybe we missed something. Also right. Oh my God, I forgot. I can't believe you did this to me, by the way. I can't believe you made me learn their language. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to say you should go read that tablet. The two tablets. Yeah, I fly over to the, the, the now two tablets and see if I can't piece anything together. As you push, as you push the tablet pieces together, it says... Let the eye of thy love never be removed, for if it is so, my heart shall break. <laughs> well, what's it say? Anything That's like a say. I'm not entirely sure, but there's a solid chance I've broken someone's heart. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, that's all well, I've got. You, yeah, I've just. If I, mean, I, I was as handsome as you, I'd, I'd break some hearts too. Hold on, I, I think that might just be a normal grave of some stupid, sappy elf that died thousands of years ago. There has to be something else we can stick the scepter into. Look for keyholes, look for anything rounded that you can a, insert something into. I've got a um, suggestion. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this. Is this can the I, thing? I wanna look down here. That's a stalactite. Or my oh, okay. I can't remember which one is those are. What's what is down here? Is this another oh, like what's tunnel? down there, you say? Ho oh, ho ho. Well, Mr. Curious Panda. Make me I'm a perception a, oh, okay. check. <laughs> oh wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Make me a perception check. A perception check. Okay. Um Skill check perception. A car closes his eyes and forgets I to open the. I can't see a thing. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. What the, the fuck? fuck? Huckleberry also has his eyes closed. Ah! I yeah. move forward and it's say, so "Why are you? Why are you guys putting your hands over your eyes? Just look. <laughs> oh, with both your eyes open. <laughs> with double the car ones, opens you're... one eye but points it the wrong direction. <laughs> Man." All right, your perception checks reveal that that is a hole in the ground. <laughs> um, hey, I will I tell you that hole. it appears that um, it is, I say man-made, but not like by humans, but like a uh, artifice. It was specifically <clears throat> made. Hey, and it seems that this wall was broken what? down. It seems like some kind of secret passage that was long since uncovered. The <laughs> tunnel goes down further and further through the cavern system to an unknown location. Well, uh, we could check down there. It might be more, uh, you know, things to, uh, well, let's say, uh, compensate us for our efforts. I'm hmm. quite ready for it. Let's, let's do it. Yeah, is let's there, check the pit. Is, is there a scepter shaped hole in any of these pillars that I'm standing near right now in the, to the northwest? There are not. Okay, well then, pending an investigation, Scrumpo will wobble over at Big Tree's behest. I keep forgetting he walks like cotton from King of the Hill. Guy, make me a perception check. Uh, All right, so me? wait, hold on. Yes. Wait. No, go on, sorry. Make me a perception check, because I think you have the best dark vision here. No, I do. I, I have a, I have supreme oh, you're dark a, vision. You're a Snurf Neblin, that's right. You're. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, also, make the roll anyway, because you could probably do it. I believe in you. All right, make me a perception check, Scrumpo. Mm. That's something I'm not good at. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. While you might have superior dark vision, that does require your eyes to be open and not looking at your own crotch. Guy. <laughs> the rare instance. You're able to see something. Etched above the entrance here is a scarab symbol. With a bit more light, it could be revealed. I, uh, oh wait, I actually, I can cast light. Alright. Upon the summoning of light... <sighs> Stop doing that! Upon the summoning <laughs> no of... No asked for that! <laughs> upon the summoning of light, uh, the symbol shows an elven lord with a crown upon their head. And the shining light is able to reveal the design of the crown. The crown appears to be like flowing water across the brow. And then it ends in a magnificent sapphire. One that you recognize. It is the one in your hand. <gasps> Whoa, well, Bill. maybe we should go down here. Yeah, right. Think. Well, 
You, you first, big guy. Or oh, me. I mean, no, me. He's, he's right, because if you jump down and then land on us, we'll probably die, so. All right, guy, cool. as you start to stroll forward a little bit, you realize this tunnel is deep and long. <clears throat> it is several days' travel to wherever the end of this tunnel is. Oh. Well, Perhaps uh, we should resupply. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I got enough so, rub. Wait, is the hole going? Are we falling for several days? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's uh, it, uh, it is me. It is my way of saying that this seems to be going a long way, which means okay. that if you go down it, then you know you should maybe resupply. Here, yeah. Let's let's perhaps <laughs> go and, and find at least you know, a buck of worms to carry. You know, before that we actually continue, there is one thing that I am kind of remembering. That Wait. pool that we couldn't oh, see right. 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 But Yeah, the one with the skeletons around it. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, we couldn't read Elvish. Right. It probably has a riddle on it. Oh, that's right. All right. I mean, I'm I'm for going back up. Wait, didn't we jump down a hole? I can't remember how we got here. We took stairs. Okay, let's go back up the stairs then. Let's right, go back up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the party decides. Wait, we forgot a bunch of stuff. Let's backtrack through the dungeon for more loot. <laughs> <laughs> and then they arrive at the pool of water with skeletons. All right, let me move you guys there. Ah, hey, look, a pool of water with skeletons. That seemed Excellent. rather fast. Excellent thinking. What does it say? I refuse to read Elvin. All right, <laughs> I will. Uh, listen, let me take a look at it. Says only Scrumpo can drink from this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Big Tree, well, you know, it. That's it. Name. That's what it says. Big Tree, well, unfortunately, forgets to use both of his eyes. A rookie mistake. <laughs> you know, actually, I think it does say that Scrumpo drinks the water. That is not what it says. Would you like me to tell you what it says? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. All right. The circle states, I walk through stars. I see the sky. And I taste your light. Yep. Oh, so we, uh, can, we can all read it, right? Yeah. Hey, guy, drink the water. You're a vampire. You hate the sun. This mentions no sun, which means you are clearly the one to drink this water. I wanted to go down the big hole. Okay, but we could do that after you drink the water. Drink the water. Come on. Well, I, 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 I'll listen, be dead. I don't think drinking. Listen, the, the skeletons, I don't think drinking the water is a good idea. He's already dead. It doesn't matter. I mean, you do have a point, but I don't think you should drink the water. Okay, I think, I, honestly, right. No, if you were ex exercising a certain amount of caution, I agree that you should not drink the water. However, it may also empower you with what we need to navigate that giant tunnel. And, of course, I claim all of the treasure in this place. I'm not going to listen. Say I have already risked death multiple times. I will get closer. Well, it's perhaps someone, uh, uh, Arcana? You know, study it, figure out the properties. Oh, yeah. I mean, I do know a little. I mean, yeah, I know. <laughs> that reveals nothing more. <laughs> Hold on. That reveals nothing more. That reveals nothing more. That reveals nothing more. <laughs> All right. So, All right. Hawk, take it's a like look a at it. Click adventure. You can't do that here. <laughs> I don't have the item. I'm yet. Too close, uh. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, Give me a natural 20. Can you, what did, what did the inscription say again? Sorry, one more I, time. I walk through stars, I, I see the sky, I taste sky. your light. I taste your light. Is it Skittles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's tasting the rainbow. Mm. Walking through stars, what does that mean? Walking at night. Right? We can agree with that. I walk through stars. I see the sky. Is it ozone? Let's see. 
Good guess. <laughs> uh, the moon? What about it? it? It absorbs light and it reflects it, and it's, it's a whole scientific oh, thing. I like but, that quite, quite a lot. But how do we invoke the moon? Let's what just put the fucking moon in the pool. Well, no, <laughs> the, the specific orders of druids that think it's a cool... I call down the moon! <laughs> and the, the werewolves? If we, does anyone know a werewolf? I'm not a werewolf, are you? I've met a werewolf once. Rear Nash, actually. Did but, you, oh, uh, you didn't kill him then? All right. Nah, well, he, he ran away. <laughs> I take one of the bones and just, like, stir the water. All right. It tells you the game sucks. All right, cool. Hey, Icar <laughs> looks, Icar looks at the coins that are on the ground. Uh, are there any symbols on them? All right, as you look at the coins, uh, they are minted in ancient Elvish, but it appears to have no other inclination except that on the back of the coins, there is the markings of Fall I.L., one of whose name, uh, one of whose titles is the Star Lord. Oh. I'd pick that shit up. Uh, you might take a gander at this, gentlemen. I show them the coin. Who should that? What uh, say you we throw this in? Uh, Have oh a wish, I mean, as it were. Change better than trying to put the moon in there. What's our wish, though? We need to come up with a, a wish. I wish for Scrumpo to be twice his size. I, Done! I, I throw no, it in. stop! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be that tall! <laughs> Do you toss the coin into the <laughs> I don't want to be that tall. <laughs> Libido times two, dude. <laughs> All right, you toss the coin in after saying that, or was that just people messing around? Yes. Very well. As you toss the coin into the waters, uh, the gold coin will dissipate. The waters will turn to a golden hue, and the runes will light up. Well, are you taller? Scrumpo is not taller. Do my bones feel the same? Well, at least that's good. Well, perhaps we can go Wait. in it now? No, we need to make a better wish, clearly, because that one sucked. Wait, hold on. The tomb that we looked at. Who did it belong to? I th uh, that giant stone chest. I think every Scarab Lord gets his own tomb. I think, I don't know, but I imagine this belongs to one of them. I have an idea. All right. Oh, no. All right. All right, great. <laughs> need you to trust me on this. I I trust all of you. I trust all of you. I put the robe and the and the talisman on Scrumpo. <laughs> oh <Okay>. no! <laughs> I was, right. I'm not gonna yeah. go in the water if that's what you think. There's no way. I look I, absolutely I, fabulous. Yeah, no, really, it's it blue is your color for sure. It's glowing. All right, hold yeah. on. I tell you what, I've got, I've kept a very. I found I, there's there's a you look like a scarab lord now. I know I don't. First of all, don't ever say that to me. Second oh. of all, I have Wait. a coin that I keep with me from my homeland that I will consult now for your wisdom. But I imagine you want me to walk into the water, right? Yes. Okay. Well, I if heads this coin, I don't walk into the water. Tails, I do. Wearing this robe, holding this talisman. All right, is that fine? You know what? I'm willing to do this. What's the coin? So be it. One is heads, two is tails. Okay, the the grin. It's the grinning coin that I've got that you put in there that I, I mysteriously saw. Okay. Do you flip it? Uh, no, you flip it for me. As you wish. So be it. Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. I've spent my whole life blaspheming against elves. There's no way that this is a good idea. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't make the choice. The coin I did. I mean, you made the rules. Yeah. Okay, fine. You're right. I shouldn't disrespect Lady Luck or Lord Luck. I can't, I can't quite recall which. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put my foot in first to see if it disintegrates my body all right you guys are okay with that all right good yeah go ahead <laughs> and he does that <laughs> all right he's gone he's only he's only what wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> now do you think uh, uh, do you no, think I... it was because of the robe or in spite of it 
<laughs> I punished Grumpo. Where'd you go? Where are you? Grumpo! Grumpo? Uh, right. Who's next? Where um, am I? Where I am I? Think... Am I dead? <laughs> You're gone. Well, that was nice then. All right. <laughs> now, hang on a minute. We got. We got uh... What was that? Sorry, I was just leaving. Maybe we should throw another coin in. Maybe it'll bring him back. I tossed a coin in. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god. I, uh. All right. Who killed Hannibal? <laughs> I need I need everybody to uh, take a moment as I need to talk to my good friend Moonerinos. <laughs> Here we go, dude. Okay, Moon Man. Let's have a discussion, just you and me. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've uh, we've had a jam session. Yeah, dude. I need you to turn that these, these music are my on. Favorite parts of, these are my favorite parts of your sessions, though, dude. Here we go. Scrumpo is floating through space. <laughs> Scrumpo! It seems that the strange plan that you made actually worked. <laughs> what? With the robes across your body, you are considered an elf and are not destroyed. While holding the talisman, a god. you are considered the uh, a bearer of the holy power of. Did I really disconnect? Am I back? Yeah, you're back. You're back. I'm sorry. Uh, you're good. With the robe robes across body, he with works. the robes across your body, you are considered an elf. While wielding the talisman, you were considered to hold the holy power of Falael, one of his priests. <laughs> and as such, <laughs> you have successfully activated this teleportation circle. <laughs> and it explodes with arcane energy as you appear back in Mirage. <laughs> you explode out from the cabinet in the temple of Rune Theris as a very surprised looking acolyte watches you. For the sake of time, would you like to return to your party to inform them? Holy shit, guess what I just found? Hold on, I'm, let me describe what happened. Scorpio stands up and fucking is screaming. He's like, Aah! and then he, he realizes that he is not dead, but he doesn't know where he is because he's he never stepped inside the temple of Rune Theras. But you know, whatever altar boy and or cleric was standing or tending the just altar. Just a random acolyte who's just like uh. Scrumpo, Scrumpo like hits the dab by accident and fucking jumps back into the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be a story he's gonna tell his high priest who won't yeah, believe him. You, you've also got the robe that's way too big for you so you like big droopy <laughs> sleeves and Alright, so uh, as Scrumpo disappears and everyone's concerned or not concerned depending I guess on the character. <laughs> Um, there is a great bubbling in the pool as Scrumpo comes firing out like a rocket and falls onto the ground. Hey, hey you're back! Hey. Oh it, my god! Oh, oh you're back. It's you gotta understand, alright? What happened? What happened? What happened? It's Tell me. Telepor it's a teleportation circle, but it only works for elves, which is yet another symptom of the systematic racism. Alright, alright. Alright, right, yeah, get on yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not dead. Oh what wait, else? does that mean back. you're an elf? No, it'd be it's, Oh it's, my god, he's an elf. Elf! 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 He's an elf! I feel like I can tell you guys this because we've shared we've shed blood together. But I need to be honest, if this death near death experience, the reason I hate elves is because I wish I was an elf. I wish I was an elf so bad, but it's never gonna happen. <laughs> listen, listen. Well, you speak like an elf now. You you wear elven clothes, and Falael thinks you're an elf. I you're know, an elf. but no, I can never capture the the systematic racism. They, no, Scrumpo. <laughs> no, I put my hand on your shoulder. Them pretty well, actually. You're an elf. Oh my God, you're right. 
if I focus my racist tendencies toward everyone that's not an elf, then it's like I'm an elf because that's such a major defining factor of their person. And I've got the robe, and I've got the, the talisman, and I know I've got the knowledge. I got everything that I need. You're right. You're right. He was an elf all along. <laughs> Um, I I don't know why I'm telling you guys. Don't tell me when I said this. All right. I mean, hey, listen, I, I don't really know anybody. So. Already. I mean, I don't. I don't anybody. really know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. It's oh, really just uh, you four. All so. right, but listen, this, listen. All right, I, <laughs> this whole side expedition means nothing because none of you are elves. There's only <laughs> one costume that we have for elves to get through this thing. This is a this is a two way portal that is not useful to us. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. So you can come. Wait, yeah. We could be your guest, and you, you invite us. We hold hands. We do a linking process. I, I don't yeah. know if that's. A, you might die instantly. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I, so, uh, wait, wait. I, I have a good idea. We find a, a random villager. <laughs> hold on. I have an idea. <laughs> okay. Go <laughs> on. What's your? He idea? has no family. <laughs> <laughs> Just a grifter. <Quick. laughs> Nobody will ever miss you. We need you for our elven ritual. Hold on. Hand me the hand me the robe. All right. He, he takes it off, and clearly the robe's too big for Scrumpo. He hands it to Big Tree, and then he gives him the towels. All right. Listen. Whatever you do. Just believe. <laughs> <laughs> I take a coin. I throw it into the pond. Okay. And then I step in. All right. Second verse, same as the first. You appear through exploding through the cabinet. Now it's completely destroyed that someone larger is coming through. And you <laughs> see that an acolyte uh, is very surprised and another acolyte who is not surprised and actually looks a little vindicated and is smugly <laughs> smiling at the other acolyte as you come bursting through. You, uh, I, reach, I reach out my hand. Come uh -huh. with me. They, they, they don't. Oh they God. run. They run away. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. Nope, they're gone. Fuck that. They're, they're telling somebody older. <laughs> go get their bus. Please. I just want to go find somebody. Please. <laughs> I'm so alone. Find someone for what? I just want to bring him through the portal again. Yeah, so we can sacrifice them. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be known if you can link. I am, I am dead set on figure on finding some random fucking. Uh. <laughs> to hold my hand. You know what? There's down. there's a dog. Oh, you're not gonna make me do. You're not gonna make me do scrappy <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh shit. The Here, eternal boy. And, the All eternal right. The, the dog Here, comes boy. running. Oh, food. Get food. Oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 I stuff the dog <laughs> under the rope. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. You're going to come back. It's not going to be there. Did you find anything? No, no, nothing. Didn't find a thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, shit. All right. You come, you come, you, 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 you coming back through the. <laughs> yeah. You, you come back to the portal. The rest of you That's... see a horrible fucking abomination of a dog slash big trick of... <laughs> coming out of the circle. Oh my, oh my god. god. What the hell is happening? Oh, it's the movie Fly. <laughs> uh, then the dog leaps out of the robe and starts to kind of like <laughs> oh my god you turned a town person into a dog <laughs> no no okay? no 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 that's an actual dog what well it's a dog now was it a human before <laughs> no 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 it's a dog so Seco it... cues his balls <laughs> <laughs> okay. is it in one piece is this a, is this one dog it is, I mean, it, it looks like a dog. dog it together. is a whole dog. All right, we got an exit plan. Good. Now kill the dog. Let's get. Let's get going. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What? It's just a dog. Whoa. It doesn't matter. It's full of blood. That's right. 
guy hasn't had any blood in at least an hour. We need to get going. Kill the dog. We go in the hole. Wait, 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 wait. We got rations for at least a day. What like what kind of dog is it? Golden retriever. No, no, it's um it's um that really thin the Egyptian dog. No, the Egyptian dog. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh no. No, 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 no. Let's go. I like how you're walking towards the pool. Like you're gonna go in there yourself. Hey, anyway, what, what, what are the rules? Work. What? No, we we learned that this is a two-way portal. If they're holding hands, whatever. Good job. Excellent work. Uh, ever, everyone, link up. Hold hands. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're not leaving. We're, we're not leaving. leaving. But, uh, if we don't want to rest in the inn. Come back to a thing. Oh, the dog is pissing oh on my, coins oh now. Oh my god, you're right. No, we should definitely go to the inn. That's an excellent idea. Everybody's that talking man... really loud, so the dog thinks you're talking about playing, and it's very happy. Yes, yes. Well, that it, man did say there was a whorehouse. Kill the dog. Let's go. We're not killing the what? dog. I picked the we dog. We have to kill the dog. Why would we kill the dog? Where I'm from, I a pick... dog is like a rat. You kill it, you get rid of it. It's a pest. Hold on, hold on. I, I pick up the dog. Yeah. And I gently place the dog on Huck's back. <laughs> All right. Is it going to stay there? I mean, I'll just kind of reach back and pet it. Several uh, layers of animal. The, the dog is. There's <laughs> a lot of layers of animal, dude. The dog seems perfectly happy sitting on the back of the strange uh, man horse. <laughs> it will enjoy the pets and right. will lick your hand happily. Oh, well, so, uh, this is Iron Jr. <laughs> no, it's not. What the no, hell? That's, that's his name. The We're keeping the dog. I'm keeping you. the dog. All right, fine. Whatever. You get to get it, the dog. That's someone else's dog on the other side. Not anymore. It's my our dog. dog now. <laughs> yeah, we stole it. Good, excellent work. Okay, so now we all link hands. We're going we're gonna to go back to the inn. We're going to hold hands go through the portal. We're going to go and take a nap. And then we're going to come back and we're going to loot this place. And then we're going to tell the guy that gave us this mission to fuck off. This is our stuff. And to give us the gold first, then we tell him to fuck off. I, it's it's going to be a minuscule amount of gold compared to what we're going to find. What'd you say, Akar? I'm sorry. He didn't. He didn't want the scepter. He just wanted us to clear yeah, out he, the place, right? So we don't have to give him anything. Clear it out. He actually told us not to so, take anything. So it's not going to. So we just so we, tell him. Oh my God, that's brilliant! I didn't even think of that. Collect the money. <laughs> tell him we killed the scarab, whatever, and be on our way. You're the best. So anyway, hold hands. Right. I, I touch. I touch the centaur. <laughs> All right. Well, all right. <laughs> click, click your heels. Uh, <laughs> hold on to the dog too. I I put a hand on the dog. All right. <laughs> That's the part. And we uh, all walk through the portal. Okay. A car a car clicks his beak and and joins in. You have successfully returned to the city of. Thank Morocco. God! I thought you were going to. Ah, I thought, I thought you know, you that would have been it. hilarious if like. And Everyone now you're all dead except for Big Tree. Everyone not touching Big Tree is dead. <laughs> all right, you guys did it! Hooray! Whoa! You successfully cleared your first dungeon and stumbled your way back through the secret way. You've also unlocked the teleportation circle, which will give you access to not only this complex but perhaps future complexes as the Ooh, game continues. We can fast travel. Well, you yeah. unlocked fast travel. Yeah, I guess you. That can do that. It's it's cooler the way. It's fast travel. <laughs> All right. It's fast travel. Call it a fast travel. Do it, arcade. We Call also got travel. a dog. We got a dog. dog. We're keeping the dog. Keeping that dog. That dog is with us. <laughs> Iron Junior. We love him. Oh my god. St- All right. I, think- I don't care that it's not our dog. We're keeping the dog. I think I have animal handling skill. <laughs> okay. Fine, you stole the dog. <laughs> I think I do. We did not steal the dog. Yes, we you did. It. That is what you literally did. You <laughs> stole it. Anyway. We did not steal it. <laughs> no, we used ancient elven magic to steal we a dog. There's a big that. difference. All right. Well, in either case, you have successfully defeated this dungeon. Look at that. Look at that animal handling. And you have completed. I stole the, the hell out of that dog. Task of the shattered crowns. And that will conclude tonight's session. Hey! All right. Can we raise the dog? God. Like, <laughs> burn it to the Does, ground, raise it? No. Does like Ronnie great. level up? Thank you. Are we naming the dog Ronnie? Wait. No, no. He, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Iron Junior. I'm, I'm down with naming the dog Ronnie. 
Oh my god. That's a good dog name. I, I'm oh fully god. in in support of people who name their oh. animals <laughs> human names. All right. All right, we're naming it Ronnie just for the future. Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie the dog. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thanks for playing, guys. This was a great session. Uh, I, I had a great time, session. man. We did this it. Great. You guys enjoying the campaign, everybody? Everybody I having a good it. time? Yeah, it's super yeah. fun. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Does and the I... dog level up? Oh, my. Have you know that if, if Scrumpo <laughs> hit that thing, it would have he would have done a million damage, but I missed both times. <laughs> a million damage. One so million damage. damage. One million damages. Unfortunately. What? Yeah, I missed both times. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, yeah, you missed. All right, <laughs> I will. Uh, okay, are we good for next week? I mean, yeah. we, we made it through mm -hmm. Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. So. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. The night. Yeah. Excellent. Well, yeah. Listen, listen, man, I watched like ninety percent of the Super Bowl. It was fucking garbage, dude. It was fucking trash. Really? Not great. Nah, it was okay. It was okay, dude. It was okay, dude. 